Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Sunday giveaway stream. Today's stream is sponsored by Anchor, who is actually letting us give away a product during this stream too, which will come up in a little bit. So Anchor is our sponsor for today. We've got Pumpkin. Like we do on every Sunday, we will still be doing the gift card giveaway and the mystery product giveaway, or mystery box giveaway. We just have some extra giveaways this stream as well. So more giveaways than we even normally do on the Sunday stream. So just some extra ones. So I'll post the link in chat so you know how to enter those real quick. So the Sunday stream, the link is dragonblogger.com slash gift card. And there are two ways, to, there's two giveaways on the same page. The top giveaways are just for the gift cards. The bottom giveaway that says the mystery box, that will be for any physical prizes that we give away this stream. So you would use the bottom giveaway for any other physical prizes and there will be a few of them in the stream. Must have a USA shipping address. There's no substitutions for any of the physical prizes. So only a USA shipping address can receive the prize for those. Hey, Blake, how are you doing? How are you doing, Serene, Travel Diva? <clears throat> yeah, sorry. It's too expensive to ship internationally, and most, most brands and sponsors won't ship outside the USA, and the incurrence of cost to ship outside the USA is often more than the price of most of the prizes, so it makes it really not viable to do. So I haven't done a deal stream myself in a long time, probably not since January. So this is a deal stream. So everything in today's stream is on sale or on deal today on Amazon. In fact, the reason why today's stream is sponsored by Anchor is because they're running a deal of the day for some of their most popular Soundcore speaker lines, and those are the ones that will feature. Now, I haven't personally received an Anchor Soundcore speaker myself yet, but James, Nate, and my reviewers, and my content team, they cover most of the speakers. I, however, have used many Anchor products, and I stand by all Anchor products. What is the question? <clears throat> hey, Boston Butterfly, how you doing? Hey, Jennifer, how you doing? No, Mrs. Dragon Blogger is out of town, uh, still doing the whole drive thing with my son. So this was another one of their trips where they went to Vegas back and forth, so she is not available today. That's why I did a deal stream today. So no Miss Dragon Blogger today. She will be back next weekend. On Labor Day weekend, when we'll be doing the stream. But yeah, no, no, Dragon, Mrs. Dragon Blogger today's stream. She's busy stuck in traffic on the way back from Las Vegas as we speak. <laughs> ah, yep, Anchor stuff is awesome. And we'll be giving away an Anchor product too. Yeah, I know, I know. She likes live streaming. She has tons of products. And she, every time she sends me a list, right, she's like, I want to stream this on next Sunday. And she builds up and then she like doubles the list for the following Sunday whenever she misses some time because. She like she gets stuff specifically she's excited to showcase on the streams and she always finds a knack for new and different items and unique stuff that I would never think to grab to review because she just has that from her point of view and her lens on what is interesting and exciting from the jewelry angle, just from the, the just a different category of products that I don't think about. And that's why she gives a different, unique perspective on the stuff she brings to the stream as well. So that's always fun. Hey Janine, welcome. Pumpkin, you want to say hi again? Come here. Come, 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 come. You're not in trouble. Come on. Come back again. Come on. Up. <laughs> He's like, what did I do wrong? Pumpkin's with me locked in the room because the other dogs are out hanging out with the other side of the house. Yeah. Hi, Pumpkin. Yeah, this is Pumpkin. He's my shadow. Although he always gets a little nervous when I bring him up on camera. He just likes to play all the time. Yeah, I know. He ate lunch, so he's gonna be going to sleep soon. Ah, yep. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, you're doing good. You doing good? You doing good? All right. Yeah, he's my familiar. He always sleeps with me, lays against me. He's my. He's everywhere I am. That's pumpkin. Never. He is like the first dog to like stare at the window for hours, waiting for me to come home if I ever have to go anywhere and things like that. That's the way he usually is. Hey, Drew, how you doing? Hey, Gina. All right, so we're gonna showcase the first product, which is the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom. Now, I think James did the Motion Boom and Nate did the Motion Boom Plus, so I'll show you that in a second here. But before I get to the products, I wanna remind everyone, today's stream will be doing a bunch of giveaways. The link to that is dragonblogger.com slash gift card. There's two gift cards being given away, which is the top giveaway on the page. And we also have the mystery box and the other physical prizes. One of them is sponsored by Anchor that will be given away during this stream. 
There will be giveaways throughout the stream. So all the giveaways are not just going to be at the end of the stream. I'll be scattering some of the giveaways throughout the stream or so. So the stream will run a little bit longer than our normal slot just because it is a deal stream. And we have some extra products to cover. Hey, Fernando, how you doing? Welcome. The other thing I want to let you know about is on our website, we still have the Gigabyte GDG5 gaming laptop giveaway. That ends next Saturday. So you only have one week left to enter that giveaway. That's dragonblogger.com slash laptop. And then next Sunday, we'll be contacting and announcing the winner um, who gets either the gaming laptop or chooses the $800 prize equivalent value that gets sent to them via PayPal, Amazon gift card, whatever, however they want it. And then we also have the Nintendo Switch Lite with Pokemon Legends Arceus game. That is also another giveaway, and that ends on September 17th. But we're always doing giveaways. I launch usually one to two giveaways as each one ends. All the links are posted in Amazon chat for the giveaways. I could post those on Restream too real quick so that everybody on the other channels can get to them. Give me two seconds. Let me make sure that everybody who's watching on my other, other social channels gets them as well. All right, there we go. Now we'll switch over and watch James showcase this speaker. And depending on how long this video is, I may skip through it a little bit. How long are we doing here? It's a little long. So, real quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna, you don't need to see the unboxing, right? We'll just show the speaker itself and how it works. So, if you'll notice, look at this, look at the side, look at the speaker on the side of these things. This is an enormous speaker. Like I was, I was talking with my friend the other day. I was like. You know, these speakers, which will remind me of like 80, like slightly small versions of 80s boom boxes, right? With the whole cassette track in them and, and all the equalizer slides right on the boom box. These are kind of like, you know, more miniaturized compact versions of the boom boxes. But these are awesome if you want to like go to a beach and you want to make a lot of sound. And if you want to clear an area and you want to annoy people and have them stay away from you and clear your space at the beach, just get one of these speakers, have a blast in like metal music, and then you'll keep most of the people away from you, except for the people that you might want to be friends with. We'll come and hang out with you. Do I have volume enabled on this or do I not? I do not. And let's go into Bluetooth settings, of course. And let's try and connect this. We now actually, and it's actually pairing up. Hopefully you guys can see that. We are now paired up. So then you go over to the Soundcore app, of course, guys, over here. Hey, Gamer Kelly. Welcome. Soundcore app. Sheila, welcome. Wait for it to Rover, load. welcome. Then we're gonna wait yep. until it. Pops the wind Darth Vader go. also is yet now another giveaway. Click oh connect and it's gonna connect. Now it does say firmware update, so we do need to update that firmware. Click over. It's gonna come here and it's gonna tell you to update it. We're gonna download and update it, and I will customize your own EQ, which is very very cool. We're so instead of the EQ sliders, like physical EQ sliders, like in the olden days, you just use the app to control the EQs and all the all the settings that you need. So. You know, it takes away all the need for those physical sliders and buttons. We're going to leave it as it is. Because right? Cause this is saying, this thing's amazing. Let's play some music for I'm, you guys, I'm right? just deaf into myself. Okay, I apologize. I just deaf into myself. we have the speaker, right? That is on low. Let's go all the way up. Lights take me where I want to visit. Are you alive? Oh, that's nice of you, Blake. That's very, very generous of you, Blake. <laughs> I'm impressed. Okay, so for those who don't know, James is a sound guy and he likes loud sound. James has like 600 watts, maybe more, maybe 1200 watts of power in his car speakers. Like he has these car speaker cabinets that fill up the entire back of his vehicle. So James is the kind of person that when he drives down the street in his vehicle, he has the sound so loud it like rattles the windows of all the houses, you know, down the street they drive. So James knows sound and especially loud booming sound. So yes, <laughs> you have a picture of it, right, Rising Sorry. Like, he showed me a video clip from inside his car 
where he was playing his speaker, which has so much deep bass that the vibration had his rearview mirror like it was dancing up and down on the waves on the ocean. And like you could hear like your bones grind to dust. It's so much deep vibration. So when he reviews a speaker, if he's impressed by the right, sound, guys, it I'm has good sound. I'm impressed right now. But I'm going to set this up so you guys can actually see this sitting a little better. That's right? right. Let's put it right in front of you guys. I know this is a little bit. That's right. It's like Jurassic Park. When you see the water and the glasses start shaking, it's not a T-Rex. It's James coming down the street. Angle, but I want to give you guys a look at this as it's playing, right? And then try to do the buttons. So. <laughs> hey, Tank, welcome. Glad to see you here. We can pause it. We can play it. Adjust it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. We're not even exaggerating either. It, re it really is that loud. Um, like it's like it's like sound weapon. It seriously, he could like use his speakers to probably take down drones from sonic waves or something like that. It's crazy. So this is the Soundcore Motion Boom speaker. Now this this in itself is so extremely powerful. But if you want to get the even bigger and more advanced version of this, that would take you into the Motion Boom Plus. And let me get the link to this one real quick. And switch that one out. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today I am super excited to showcase to you the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. Right, control, right. This is an absolute beast that comes with a ton of features and packs a ton of power. So we'll go ahead and just take a look at it. So you guys can see right here that it has this matte black finish all the way around it. Whenever we look at the top right here, you have that Soundcore branding on the top as well. So I just love the look. Like, like I've had a lot of Bluetooth speakers, and I actually like the appearance and the boombox like style of these. I like that they have the handle on them instead of just being you simply grabbing the speaker itself. And I just I really like the aesthetic of these. Well, you're going to have all of your control buttons, which is going to be your play pause button, your next song button, the bass mood up, and your power button as well. Taking a look at it right here in the front as well, you can see that you are going to have your two speakers, two tweeters, and then on each side of the speaker, so right here and right here, you're gonna have passive speakers that are gonna act like your subwoofer, and they add a ton of bass. One of my favorite things about this is that you do receive a strap that you can hook onto this or take off if you don't want it. it makes it really easy to carry around because this is a big Bluetooth speaker. Taking a look at the back right here, you guys are gonna notice that you have a micro USB-C input that is to charge this. You have a USB-A output in order to be able to charge your devices. And then you also have your auxiliary jack right there in case you ever want to extend the sound. Yeah, so if you want to, like, say you have um, a record player or something old that outputs that you could do auxiliary output. Like, for instance, a Donner record player that, that can go output to a speaker. You could take that Donner record player and you could use the auxiliary output, your 3.5 millimeter audio output, and plug into the speaker. And I'm sure that would sound absolutely amazing that Donna record player plugged into the speaker. Sound. Just good. because I extensively tested this just so I could come up with a legit opinion on what I think of this. All right, so we've got my phone paired up to the speaker. Let's go. Something just did a battery off noise on me next to me. I don't know what it was. Sounds. Hey, RD, how you doing? I notice my team picks the same song whenever they review speakers. They always go to the same song. There's a larger variety of YouTube audio library. They need to vary up their song playlists. So excellent for like Backyard parties, if you go to the park, like a lot of people go to those like um, canopies at the park and they do birthday parties at the park, things like that. It's just a great speaker to have when you're outdoors, to do at a party, to do at a gathering, to do a get together and, you know, pool party, beach, whatever. It, take it on the lake, camping, cabin, just an awesome, awesome speaker to have around wherever you go. Hey, James, 
We were just talking about you driving down the streets and your booming uh, speaker vibrating the windows uh, around you. <laughs> yeah, great out by the pool too. Yeah, just, you know, music makes everything better. I'm one of those people that, I, I so many people, right? It's not just me, it can't be me. Music is so mood affecting and listening to music can just bring any experience and make it better. Like if you're just out and it's quiet, but if you got music, especially music you like, something that's energetic, something that's soothing, music can greatly affect your environment and experience no matter what you're doing. And that's why I just love, love music. Exactly. Music makes everything better. Everything better. People, there's music for sad, there's music for happy, there's music for scared, there's music for everything. Why do you think music's so effective in audio scores on movies? Because, you know, sound and music can dramatically uh, affect your experience. So important. All right. So next up, we're going to go into a little bit of, of some other anchor um, lines. So the next one here is the boost. And James covered this one, stepping down a little bit into their smaller line of speakers. I think James did this one. Yeah, James did this one. James here. And today we're taking a quick look at a new product. Again, I'm going to skip past the unboxing and get to the speaker. Itself. Now, this is those more traditional rectangular uh, speakers, which the, the, a lot of them come in this kind of design. So, I'll show you that. For seconds, and it'll automatically pair up. Now, now that we do that, I'm going to set this down here. Okay, guys, so for like today's this. giveaway, I'm Jimmy, I'm going to post the link in chat one more time. It's dragonblogger.com right slash gift card. It's going to pop up. Let me pause this gonna... just so in case my voice conflicts. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. There's two giveaways on that page. The top giveaways for the gift cards. The bottom giveaway is for the mystery box or any physical prizes that get given away on the stream. So a lot of giveaways today. We're gonna be, the first giveaway is going to come very soon in just a couple products. We're going to be scattering in giveaways throughout the stream so you don't have to wait until the end. We'll be doing various giveaways, although the most of the prizes will be at the end, like the mystery box and the gift. one of the gift cards will be at the very end of the stream. But you have a chance to win that. Also, we have our website giveaway where you, you can enter to win a gaming laptop. That's from a Gigabyte GDG5 gaming laptop or $800. That ends next Saturday. Welcome to everybody who's new to the stream. I am Dragon Blogger. This is the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live stream. We have a multi-crew here, although I only stream on Sundays as the owner. We stream seven days a week, usually two times every uh, Monday through Friday as well. And let me select the product that we're actually showing and continue on with James in the video. I go into pair mode. Hey, JC Mama 3, welcome. Now we're going to go down here and it should automatically detect, and it did right there. Hopefully, you guys see this. Anchor Sound Core Boost. We're going to click connect. And now it's going to connect. It's going to go over here, guys. It does say firmware update. We're not going to actually do the firmware right now. <laughs> Every product is a firmware update. So then we have the EQ guys right here. Simple, easy. You hold down this big circle. It's going to go into EQ mode. You have several of the bottoms or you can do customization. So guys, I actually am one of those people when I use a Bluetooth speaker, I actually use the EQ mode. I have several EQ presets because I listen to audiobooks and I listen to various types of music. And when it comes to audiobooks, I like pumping my EQ into the higher frequencies so that I can hear the voices better and more crisp. So I use a couple of different EQ presets depending on what I'm listening to. It matters. It really does. You don't necessarily want your EQ frequency settings to be the same if you're listening to an audiobook or you're listening to, say, classical music as you are when you're listening to, say, heavy metal or electronica. So EQ settings can make a difference in your uh, audio experience. Very, very good to get used to them. And if you're not familiar, you could just do some reading and research and experiment with various EQ settings and, and uh, see what makes the sound better you. Because honestly, it, when it comes to sound and it comes to music, everybody's unique and what they like, right? So there's common patterns of what music people likes. But when you adjust EQ settings and frequencies, there's suggested guidelines. But realistically, everybody likes what they like. And you might have you know, slightly, slight different tweaks to the various frequencies that just make it sound better and more immersive for you as well. We're going to actually leave that there, but we're going to turn the bass boost on, of course. Then we're going to back out. Right. Now you have volume control So this right is here, the guys. boost. There's the sound right core, there. sound core yeah, 2, and that, sound right? core boost. Play, this is the boost. Or pause. You can power it on and off, and then you can go into settings if you need settings, guys, which is really cool. Okay, it made me do a firmware update. So just remember, guys, you may have to do the firmware update. So I did the firmware update. Now we're going to play this, right? 
We actually have this in play. We're going to turn the volume up. Is, is it the same song? Hey, James so Sims and C. Tots. I see you. Oh, it's a good one to share the bass. Up, and I'm gonna hit that down. Now, for a little speaker, this one has a lot of bass. We have minus over here. So I see a tiny too. On, I'm watching the uh, YouTube chat and Twitch chat at the same time I'm watching the um, Amazon chat. Howard Bear, thank you very much for the follow. For a little speaker, very impressive sound and bass. Very, very impressive for the for the for the size. Easily to pause, guys. Actually, sounds pretty. Hey, Margaret, easy. how are you doing? Feeling nice little speaker, guys. This is a. So this is a really nice, nice little speaker. It was a really happy mix. Personally, I want. I would go for the Soundcore. You know, Motion Boom, right? For like thirty dollars more. Because it just gives you that extra power and versatility. You could always make a bigger speaker lower in volume for your situation. And this you specifically want to save on space and you need something more compact. I would rather go for the more boombox style speaker because it's just more versatile for like a very loud auditorium, audience, large park, you know, picnic, um, by the pool, out on the lake, whatever. So for me, I would go with the bigger one. Now, for little conveniences, you get the mini. Now, Nate just covered the mini. So this video... First look on this stream, um, he, this has never been played before in any of the live streams. So you're getting a first look at Nate's coverage of the uh, Soundcore Mini, which is the smallest speaker that they make. And honestly, for $20, it is an amazing little mini speaker. And my wife uses mini speakers. So mini speaker would be like for, you know, a, one room, one small room in the house, a bedroom speaker, you know, maybe just your backyard patio. You don't need something so big. Uh, perfect for that. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I am super excited to showcase the They're all Bluetooth. new product from Anchor. If you guys have been around the channel before, I'm sure you guys have heard of Anchor, and even if you haven't been around here, I'm still sure you have heard of Anchor. So Anchor has been making oh nice a ton of time. This DB they first started out with very simple products, and they've moved into so many awesome things. And one of my favorite things that they do make is Bluetooth speakers. So they recently sent me their Soundcore Mini to take a look at. And this is an Let me select it. Beast, especially this one's on deal of the day, 17% off. That's why it's $19.99 today. Take a closer look at that. So you guys can see that right here, you have the Bluetooth speaker itself. This is a very small, compact design. It has incredible bass built into it and all metal housing. But before we dive in. So the uh, Bluetooth speakers and outdoor speakers, for instance, we just got a pizza oven and we now have that, you know, gas heater, um, pyramid heater in the yard. We plan on entertaining uh, guests and having like pizza, you know, uh, fire, of uh, uh, wood fired pizza, you know, entertainment. And a backyard speaker is going to be perfect for when we have guests. And you don't need one too large because we're only having like four or five guests over around a table in the yard. So a, a smaller Bluetooth speaker like this is perfect for that. Into how it sounds, let's take a look at everything that comes. So with Tanya, I'm trying to check your. Man. Let me scroll up a little bit. I thought I answered it, but if I didn't. Customer satisfaction or unsatisfaction. So, does it, uh, let's see, let me see a question, Tanya. Does it work like a Bluetooth? So, can I use it if I'm, if I'm on the phone? So, it is Bluetooth. You connect your phone to the Bluetooth speaker. Now, much like, the limitation of the phone is, like, if you're playing Spotify or you have an app open on the phone and you close the app to do something else, it stops sending the audio signal to the speaker. So that's not really a speaker issue. That's the fact that you can't output audio to the Bluetooth speaker while you're using Bluetooth to talk on the phone or on your phone call on the phone. And that's because the, the way the app goes into standby mode, right, when you flip out of an app and it goes to stand mode. So no, you can't talk on the phone at the same time that phone is transmitting audio to the Bluetooth speaker. It won't be able to do that. Uh, if you go out of your Spotify or your Pandora or any app and do something else, um, obviously it won't shut off the audio playing if you, if you do nothing, but certain apps, if you open, like for instance, when I was recording a Bluetooth speaker myself and I opened up my video recorder app, it can't transmit to a Bluetooth speaker while it's trying to use the microphone and do video recording at the same time. So there are a lot of apps that, you know, that use audio or video can't function while it's outputting 
You could do texting while it's up on the Bluetooth speaker. You could browse the web in Safari browser and all that stuff. But any app that wants to take uh, control of the audio devices or the Bluetooth will, will conflict without putting to a Bluetooth speaker. And then you're going to get your micro USB charging cable right here. Yeah, it really does. It really does. Over. Hey, Wooter, welcome. A closer look at the speaker. Like I said, before, don't forget if you're new here, we got the giveaways you're today. A lot of giveaways on the stream. You're going to have a dragonblogger.com slash gift card. Right there, so you can we'll be doing a bunch of giveaways. From an the first one is coming up right after the speaker. Micro USB charging cable, an auxiliary output, your power switch. Hey, Wiley, I see you too. Selectors. Welcome. You guys can see right up there on the top, you're going to have that nice anchor branding right there. And on the bottom, you are going to have a very nice. Hey, Panatom, I see as well. Sitting right here on the bottom. Just All right, let's get to hearing it. Moving around. Looks like. nice, has heavy. Power. <clears throat> and just know when showing off speakers and you're using a microphone on a camera to listen to the audio of a speaker, it's never going to sound as good as it does in in person, right? Because the microphone isn't going to pick it up like your ears are. But he chose something a little bassy here on purpose. Gets the job done. <laughs> you see a little vibrating in the paper. I mean, listen to that. Add that tiny little capsule speaker. Not bad. So as you guys could probably hear, this sounds amazing. And the thing that just impresses me about Anchor is whenever their backs are up against the wall and they send you a little tiny Bluetooth speaker like this, you can't imagine it being great, but proven time and time again, Anchor just makes absolutely great products and their Bluetooth speakers just absolutely blow me away. So if you guys have been looking for an ultra portable, super easy to use and great sounding Bluetooth speaker, definitely check out the Soundcore. So excellent speaker for the, pr for the price and the size, the fact that it's so small, you could put it on a bookshelf, keep it in a car, you know, put it in office, though don't annoy your coworkers if you still work in an office, you know how that goes. A kitchen speaker, things like that. Works very well for that. And because it's so small, you can kind of leave, you set it and forget it. You could put it on like a windowsill, right? Or or right next to a window. Exactly. Yep. So now we're ready for the first giveaway. So you're gonna to want to go to dragonblogger.com slash gift card and you're gonna enter in the mystery box area because this is a physical prize. We are sponsored by Anchor Soundcore this stream. So the first product we're going to be giving away this stream is going to be the Soundcore 2. Now, the Soundcore 2 was not on deal today, so it wasn't in my carousel. But I'm going to show you a little bit of a video of the Soundcore 2 that we're giving away so you can see which speaker we are giving away. So this is um, a box speaker, a rectangular speaker like the other one. So let me grab the video here real quick for it. This is the Soundcore 2. The video I'm gonna play right now is the speaker we're giving away. It is not in the carousel because it wasn't on specific deal today, but this is the one Anchor is letting us give away to one lucky winner. And this is the Soundcore 2 that James is showing you right now. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new- Let's get We have the bit- A little bit here. Blog. All right, let's get to playing it, James. All right, there we go. And it should be in Bluetooth mode. We're gonna grab our phone. And we're going to refresh our Bluetooth area. And hopefully this comes up. The giveaway for the speaker is dragonblogger.com slash gift card. And you're going to want to enter on the bottom widget that says for mystery uh, second, product please. or mystery box. That will be where the winner gets drawn for this Bluetooth speaker. We now have it popped up, Soundcore 2. But we have a lot more Netflix coming giveaways than just a speaker. I have a lot of giveaways okay, on the stream. Okay, guys, now that we have it paired up, hooked up, guys, we're going to come in here. And we're gonna actually pop down. We're gonna play some music for you, right? Let's make sure my music app will pop up. Of course, it's taking its little right, time. Let's skip it ahead. No problem, right? Well, let's get ready and go higher. Nice little speaker. Funny sound. 
Thank you for the follow, Complete Metalworks. Now we can pause it, right? So, you could only... Okay, so good question, Blake. You can win a gift card, and you can win only one product, but the product doesn't count against you for winning the mystery box. So, if you win, say, this speaker that we're about to give away, you're still eligible to win the mystery box, but not any other physical prize this stream, which, which we have coming. So, the gift card and the mystery box are separate at the end. Right here, right? If we want, we'll play it again. Turn the volume down. All right, so if you want a chance to win this speaker, dragonblog.com slash gift card, I'm going to be the uh, winner of course, right the Soundcore 2 from Anchor. Soundcore 2 being given away. I'm about to draw the winner. Just let me know in chat if you're ready. Type the word ready when you're ready for me to draw the winner, and I will draw the winner. Maha, thank you for the follow very much. Appreciate it. Type the word ready in chat if you are ready for me to draw the winner of the Anchor Sound Core 2. All right, got a bunch of ready there. Got a bunch of readies. Looks like we're ready. All right, staging. Let's see how many people entered before I draw. I want to see what we're, what we're looking at. So you know what your odds are. Uh, looks like 53 people entered. To win to win the physical product today so 53 people all right chucky said not yet all right hurry up chucky waiting for chucky's ready yes if you pass on any product anytime you pass on a product you're eligible to be drawn for another one in line so if you don't want the speaker but you want to win the next one just pass yeah it does it does not take it does not uh count against you How can I return an item? Barbara, are you talking about an Amazon return? What do you mean by returning an item? Barbara, what was that, that question? How do you return an item? I don't know if that's a question about like returning an item on Amazon or something else. Something like that. Anyway, um, I wanted to answer a question because even though I don't work for Amazon, I could tell her how she could return an item on Amazon if, if she's eligible to return an item. Thank you, Monty. Appreciate it. Chuck, are you ready? Did he say he's ready? Chuck, are you ready yet? <laughs> Why you don't like the Bluetooth speaker you had? You want a better one? Anchor does make a better one. All right. All right, I think we're ready. Um, so Barbara, I can't send you a return slip. I'm not sure what, you, what you're asking for, but go to amazon.com slash support, and then there you can click and get help with your order, and you can print out a return slip if your item's eligible to be returned. I don't know if you could hear me, Barbara. Amazon.com slash support and find your order order to get a return slip there okay ready uh, uh chucky's ready yeah a lot of people when they come to the amazon live streams they think we work for amazon directly like we're employees of amazon and we're not we're freelance influencers but i'm more than happy to help you because you know i'm here on amazon so if you have a question and i know the answer i'll do my best to help you out even if i don't work for amazon i still represent so here we are ready to draw and let's see the lucky winner of the Anchor Soundcore 2 speaker is Jennifer L. Jennifer L, you're the winner of the Soundcore 2 Bluetooth speaker by Anchor. Jennifer L, are you here? In chat, claim the prize, Jennifer. Jennifer L is the winner. Let me just document this for after the stream so I don't lose track. I, uh, you, I assume you want the speaker, right? You're not passing, Jennifer? Because that will make you ineligible to win some of the next prizes except for the mystery box and the gift cards. Hey, Star, thank you for the follow. All right. So 
that was the Anchor products. Perfect, Jennifer. I will collect your information and I will have Anchor send it to you because it will be shipped directly from Anchor since they sponsored this stream and that prize giveaway. So next up on the list, we're moving on to some Gobi products. Gobi is yet another brand. So Anchor makes amazing products, projectors, uh, speakers. Gobi is known for making the best light-based products we have ever seen here at Dragon Blogger. Everything they make that's related to RGB lighting, RGBIC lighting is just stunningly fantastic. And so I'm going to show you some case, uh, some of the Gobi products we've showcased. So these are the RGBIC light strips. Now, before I show you the product, I want to tell you the difference between RGB and RGBIC because Gobi makes two types of light strips. They make RGB and RGBIC. RGB is when the entire strip is the same color and has to be the same color or the same pattern. RGBIC is when parts of the strand can be different colors than other parts of the strand. They're segmented to allow you to, to split out the strand into multiple different colors, and you can do a lot more versatility with the various color patterns in RGBIC. And the RGBIC strips, you can actually, most of them, you can actually cut to be the size and length you actually need. So while the one on sale today is the 32.8 foot one, you're going to be seeing the 64 foot one, which was re reviewed. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the RGB IC Pro light strips from Govi. Okay, so there are a ton of cool features, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what all you get. First, you're going to get a user manual. It's very simple to follow. Definitely recommend yes. checking that out. Once you open it up, you're going to get the light strip itself. I got the 64-foot version, which is going to be a lot to work with, but we'll definitely figure it out. It comes in these reels, so it's pretty easy to manage. Then you're going to have your wall to AC adapter plug-in. You're going to have your AC adapter itself. Then the original me face. Of these tape and screw Welcome. mounts to help keep the light strip stable and staying where you put it. And then you're going to get alcohol prep pads to clean the area where you're going to be installing the light strips. So next what you want to do is you want to locate on the back of the light strip. You're going to have this 3M sticky adhesive tape cover. So what you want to do is just peel that back. It might be a little tricky to get it peeled back. But once you get it peeled back. So just let you know, I run an RGBIC light strip on my son's bedroom. He has one that hub, that basically does the entire baseboard at night. So when he's on his computer at night, he basically has that glow, that ambient glow that comes from the bottom. So whereas in this video, Nate installs his at the top of his room where it meets the ceiling. My son has his on the baseboard and it does such a great job too being low as it does high. While installing these light strips is definitely hold them up with one hand and then run them along the wall or wherever you're going to be installing them with the other hand. Even doing that, it was a little bit tricky. So what I would recommend doing for you guys just to make this a little bit easier is immediately don't go with the tabs that stick to the wall. Just use the screws. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver. So yes, if you're doing the ceiling, I recommend doing the doing the you know, making it more sturdy in the wall because if it comes, if the stickiness does de desiccate, which it does, I'll be honest with you. I live in the Southwest in Southern California and I've lived in Arizona for 19 years before that. And all adhesives, like sticky back adhesives, they do desiccate and dry air over time. So they might last 20 days, 30 days, but the adhesives do desiccate. So you're going to want to fix it, especially if it's high up. Now, the one that's on the baseboard we just use the sticky back because on the baseboard, it has nowhere to fall and it's kind of like on the top of the baseboard. So there was no reason to actually have to tack it in. We're in probably a drill to get these through the wall. That's what I ended up doing and it made it so much easier. I hey, Jeremiah, you guys welcome. A little bit of a warning so you don't get frustrated and blow up like I did. Once you've got them installed, what you want to do is go ahead and pair them with the app. The app is really cool. It's got a ton of cool features. So what we're going to do is take a look at the color feature of it. So this is going to allow you to select different segments of the light and choose the color that you want. Then you're going to have scenes, and the scenes is the most awesome part. So let's go ahead and select Starry Sky and see what that scene looks uh, like. I love the As scenes. As you can see here, it's a little I used to go the app for my ground half of the Starry Sky by having a blue constant and kind of purple and green flashing lights. It looks really nice and really clean. I really like that effect. So let's go ahead and jump back over into the app now and we'll select, uh, we'll do fire. That's a good idea. So in fire, as you can see here, it's doing its best to imitate fire. Now, obviously that's not going to be perfect because this is a light strip, but it's still a cool feature nonetheless. Okay, so now jumping back to the app, like I said, a ton of cool features there. You're also going to have a DIY feature, which allows you to program the lights to your desire. You're going to have a brightness filter here the effects lab and then there's also i think i did kenneth oh those are the ones you sent me on discord that allows you to simply or email that 
And then another cool unless you do in the chat the stream which in case i didn't which allows you to control the lights with your voice as you can see here hey yeah yep, i did see this lights to red hey google it's party time let's get this party started hey garrett welcome don't forget we've got more giveaways coming up on the stream plenty of giveaways coming Amazon, uh, DragonBarger.com slash gift card to have a voice reactive is where you go to enter. Whoa. Hey, PC Phil. DragonBarger. So, JMoney1143, that is an interesting question and a good question. So, to become an influencer, the first thing you need to do is you need to develop a social media presence. If you already have a social media presence, such as, you know, be comfortable communicating on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube. Uh, start creating content. Start connecting and building an audience. Um, find something that you're passionate about because there's nothing worse than being fake. You want to have authenticity and really believe in the stuff that you promote and talk about. So build an audience around your whatever is you're passionate about. And then after you grow that audience to a certain amount – then you start finding brands and sellers and that basically make products in that area that you're passionate about that you're willing to test and review and always be honest and always be authentic. And then you could kind of work your way there. Then after you get amount of live streaming, to be an influencer, you apply for an influencer program. There's a lot of different influencer programs. Amazon has its own influencer program. Of course, you would go to set up, sign up under the Amazon Associates affiliate link and then sign up as an influencer account. Or you could be an associate or an affiliate for various other programs as well. So that's basically the summary. Um, in short, though, if you want to know how to sign up to be an Amazon influencer, just send me an email, contact me at dragonblogger.com or come over to my Discord and PM me, dragonblogger.com slash Discord, and I'll give you the exact link and the exact instructions um, and help you out when I have time. So this light strip that Nate featured, he has this light strip in his office now. So every time you see him live streaming on Monday through Friday, this is the light strip he has up in his room. And you can just ask him to change the color. Sometimes he asks the audience, what color you want me to make the light strip right now? And he just changes it to whatever color the audience votes on, stuff like that. So really awesome light strip from Govi. Highly recommended. I love that the Govi app, every Govi product you have, you synchronize into the same app. And you can just continue to control them all there. So I really love Govi products that way. Next up is the Govi DreamView monitor backlight, which if you're the kind of person that when you're watching something or playing a game, the ambient light of what's going on around you changes to match what you're playing in your game. It creates such a phenomenal visual experience because even though it's in your even though it's in your peripheral vision, it really adds to the experience and it's just amazing. And you gotta check this out. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome Let's go v. Go That's v. Right, Phil. Dream View You're G1 famous for that phrase. Light. So these are actually light strips that sit behind your monitor or TV or really anywhere, and they read the colors of your screen with the camera that you can see that is right on top this of is my a monitor. Brilliant you can see right now product. that they are mimicking the colors of my monitor with that razor background. These are very easy to set up, so I'm just going to go ahead and. It was delayed till tomorrow. So if you want to win the 3D printed Darth Vader, it's dragonblogger.com slash winvader. And he will draw the winner and uh, live on his stream tomorrow um, around 10 a.m. Pacific time, 11, 12, 1 p.m. Eastern. So dragonblogger.com slash winvader. He 3D printed a custom Darth Vader statue that he's going to give away. It got delayed because the lightsaber had three failed prints and he was having trouble getting the lightsaber printed. And he wanted to wait until he was able to get the full print done so we can assemble it on stream and give it away. So we had to delay it twice. So tomorrow is the 3D printed Darth Vader giveaway that Nate will be doing to one lucky winner. So. And showcase to you guys all the things that this can do. So we're just gonna go ahead and play this video. And as you guys can see right here, it responds to the lights immediately, which is really awesome. Can you see how fast that switches colors? That is extremely impressive. I think the way that this works is just so incredible because it reads this camera and pulls that data through to the lights in real time. Like I said before at the beginning of the video, this adds such a nice ambience and makes your setup, regardless if it's a TV, a thank gaming, you for the follow, setup, George. Much appreciated. It is 
this absolutely shreds whenever it comes to making your desktop stand out. Look so at that as backlighting. As you guys can see here, we loaded into it's the just game so of phenomenal. It's a very vibrant game. You guys can see when I look around that it goes blue when I'm looking at the sky and brown whenever I'm looking at Look at the that. Look how deck. fast it changes color. It reads the, the screen there, that and it changes color in that real, real time, time reflected the deep dark blue ocean that you guys could see I jumped into. It absolutely looks incredible. I can't get over how awesome this makes the setup look. It just makes everything feel so professional. You guys can see every single little color change, the Govi Dreamview G1 light. Guys, if you're if you're a gamer, if you're a PC gamer, they also make they also make an equivalent for television too. So that it can do the same thing with the backlighting on your big TV when you're watching TVs and movies and stuff like that. But the 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 way the camera reads and colors the backlight so quickly, it's basically real time. It is pretty impressive. Uh, yep. Yeah, exactly. And he was getting the spaghetti monster quite a bit because the lightsaber is so thin, right? At first, he tried printing it horizontally, and the print head would grab it and drag the lightsaber across. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. Uh, the adhesion wasn't there. And so then he tried printing it vertically and it got really, really tall before it just, you know, it was destabilized because only the little bottom tip was on there. So he tried two different ways to print it. But this is the Govi backlight. Excellent monitor backlight. If you're a gamer, you're going to love this. Um, so it's pretty fantastic. And, oh, stay tuned. Nate's going to have even more. I bought Nate um, a resin printer, an cubic resin, model 4K resin printer. So not only will he be doing filament prints, but he's going to start learning how to do resin prints for even finer detail too. So we decided that Nate's going to be like the 3D printer guy on live streams. So now that he has multiple 3D printers, he's going to be able to print two different print jobs, a resin and a filament at the same time. And we're going to just kind of make that more of a thing, like do 3D printed giveaways, both resins and filaments. So uh, we're going to do a lot of stuff in the printing area. So next up is these light bars. And these are also extremely amazing and you can see these live on Nate's streams as well they're always in his background practically on every video he does they're in his background too now whenever he records himself on webcam and my nose is itchy ah oh, there we go hey what is going on guys Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment and today thanks for the follow Zach Web much appreciated to showcase to you an awesome product reminder that we have the gift card giveaways and some more physical giveaways physical right product giveaways going on this stream the lights that are going to the link is dragonblog.com slash gift card kind of ambience and add just awesome effects to your wall and get your room lit up so let's just go ahead and jump in take a look at everything that's going to come with this and then show you again how to get it installed and what it looks like so one thing that i wanted to point out and this just really speaks to how awesome govi is i don't know if you guys have ever struggled to get tape off of boxes Oh, yeah. I understand the tape off box is impressive. We'll skip that part and get right to the device itself. These light bars are just so incredible looking. And I'll post the gaming laptop giveaway that we're doing as well for those who might be new and may not notice that we're doing a gaming laptop giveaway. And we're also doing a Nintendo Switch Lite giveaway. I'll post that too, because people may not be aware that we are also doing a Nintendo Switch Lite giveaway at the same time with Pokemon Arceus. Dr. Crafty, huh? Look at that. The way it does like flickering flames, like candles, or you could do like EQ. <laughs> Very cool, these light bars. can see that right here these lights are absolutely amazing they add an absolutely awesome effect to your room and you're even able to pair these with other Gobi lights in your home so if you guys have been looking for an awesome way to just kind of spice up your room and add awesome effects i highly recommend these from Gobi, and i'll see you on the next video okay one second the next product i might have on hand still i do finally not a video not a video. All right. Next product to have on hand. This is the Gobi Smart Plug. And I have two of these. And I have one plugged in the wall, but I keep one as a spare 
That way I could hold it up and show it on stream. So like all Govee products, it's Govee Smart Plug. You've got your power button on the side. When you first power it on, it blinks blue, looking to pair with your phone or your device. So all you do is pair it, open up the Govee app, and then you could control the smart plug. Simply, why? what do you need a smart plug for? Well, not only is it for turning on and off lights, like let's say you don't have a light switch or you wanna have something that you can turn on and off, um, whether you're home or not home, it gives you that option with the smart plug, but you also set timers and you can set multiple timers per day so that something goes on and off certain times during the day as well. So it also allows you to use Alexa, Google Voice, or you know any, any other type of voice assistant to turn it off. Typically what I use it for is if I'm out of the room or I leave the house and I forgot to shut a light off or something, I just go in the app and I just tap it off and I make sure it's off while I'm gone, that kind of thing. Or if I want to turn my light on, I'm say I'm not home yet and I'm out and my house is dark and nobody's home. Well, I don't want my house to be dark. I want to make it look like somebody's home. So you just open up your app, tap your smart light, make your, make your uh, lights go on and stuff like that. Also set schedules and timers. Like if you're going on vacation for like say a week, right? Let's say you want to set timers and give the appearance that somebody's home and set like your timer to go on at different periods of the day just to give the appearance of this activity and that somebody might be home. There's a lot of things you could do with a smart plug. And because the Govee smart plugs integrate with the same Govee apps, you could just simply add it and just control it and you could synchronize them to different rooms as well. You could have like multiple smart plugs registered in the same room or give them each their own outlet name or whatever you want to do there. So. Gobi Smart Plug, another nice option, nice little two-pack here on Dale today as well. The one thing I found, though, is on an iPhone, you have to open up the Alexa app to talk to Alexa to talk to the Smart Plug. Uh, whereas in, if you have a, a Fire device, you could just talk to Alexa directly. So I couldn't get Siri, I couldn't get it to work with voice without having to open up either Google Vo Assistant or open up Alexa first, which was kind of... Because Siri natively doesn't talk to it, which is kind of weird. That's the only thing is when when's voice. I found it worked better on voice when I had it with a Fire device or an Android device than with an iPhone. Only because I had to open up the app, then do the voice. I couldn't do it directly from Siri. And I just spilled all my little masks everywhere. Ugh. The dogs are going to get to these. Oh, look. Uh, my dog brought his toy over here that's... Literally just gave this to him yesterday and already chewed the leg off this little toy dog chewing turtle. Already missing a leg. He gimped it. Pumpkin. What'd you do, Pumpkin? Come here. What'd you do with this toy? Did you do this? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Here's toy. Here's toy. Oh, there we go. Did you do that to your toy? Did you do that to your toy? Yes, you did. You did destroy your toy, didn't you? Yes, you did. You destroyed your toy. I don't know if you swallowed the bits, though. Hopefully you didn't swallow the pieces. Thanks for the follow, Isabel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know if he swallowed it or not. I'm like, oh, I hope that's food-grade silicon or something. Ugh, seriously. <laughs> so next up is the Anchor Nebula Capsule Max. <laughs> no, he's, not, he's not wrong. He's not wrong because Kiwi uh, Kiwi has an affinity for chewing stuffing and string, and we have to deal with that that unfortunate um, the next uh, day when, when he passes it. So he's not wrong. <laughs> All right, so next up we have the Anchor, Anchor Nebula Max Capsule. Now, Anchor makes some amazing projectors, really incredible projectors, and we've tested a lot of projectors, right? We say, I know we keep saying Anchor makes amazing stuff, but you got to understand, We've tested WeWatch, WeMax, Artly, um, XGME. Um, we've tested so many different brands of projectors, and Anchor really cuts above the rest. In fact, Anchor tested a $500 Anchor projector against a $2,000 uh, laser projector from a competitor, and he liked the Anchor projector better, even though it was one-fourth the price and it had better quality and better color than a competitor projector. So, and, and Nate has a special uh, ALR projection screen. He also has special projector wall paint for his wall. So he really takes the time to vet out the color quality, the audio quality projectors. Although a lot of projectors come with their own speakers. Most people might use separate speakers, but some people are lazy and just will use the speakers built in a projector. So speakers and a projector matters. So this is the Nebula capsule. Nate, Nate has this, or James, 
I think I think Nate has this one too. But he only was able to review the capsule. He didn't review the Max in time. So I'm going to show you the video of the capsule. And this is the improved version of the capsule in the on deal today. But you can kind of get a, a feel for it by seeing what the, um, the capsule itself is. Now, the capsule he's showing you in the video is 480p, but it looks way better than you wouldn't think it was 480p. The one that's the max hey, what is, going is on, guys? actually Nathaniel a lot higher quality. Tech and entertainment. And today we're going to be so it is highly recommended really awesome to get the capsule max by if you need a this portable one. Nebula. Because it's full the Nebula is a portable powerhouse that boasts a ton of features such as Android 7.1, Bluetooth speaker capability, and much more. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at everything that this has to offer. So whenever you guys unbox this, you guys are going to notice you get every yes, single thing like you this. need to get set up and running, such as your micro USB cable. You're going to get a micro USB so, to USB A dongle. You are going to get again a reminding you block. the Nebula capsule is the one he reviewed. Manuals, the capsule well Max is the one on deal. About the so the difference right is here, and mostly get the, remote the capsule Max is 720p versus the 480p of right the one he reviewed. Here. You guys can see My very simple remote. They even include true AAA batteries on the back, so you can get. It's not running; it's just itching. Now, like I said before, this is a portable powerhouse that boasts a ton of features, such as Android 7.1, which is going to give you. Very portable, and it has the um, the ability to mount it on the tripod, which is really nice. I'll skip ahead a little bit here just to show you. I mean, a little bit back, like right there. Okay. It's hooked up, and take a look at everything that I can do. All right, guys, so we have this hooked up in my living room. As you guys can see here, it is casted on my wall. So you guys might notice that over here on the left side, I left a light on, and I did that because I wanted to see how well this fares at only 100 lumens if you have other light sources. And so far, as you guys can see right here, we are at the main menu, which we'll go over in just a few seconds. But you guys can see that the light isn't really taking you away from how bright this is, and the Apollo isn't even plugged into a power source, so it's going to be in a power save mode. All right, so what I want to go ahead. Oh, I want to let you know when this video ends, I'm going to be giving away one of the gift cards. So a $5 gift card will be given away after this video ends. Enter at dragonblogger.com slash gift card. And in the top giveaway is for the gift cards. The bottom giveaway widget is for the mystery product. So I'll be drawing a winner from the top giveaway, which is a gift card winner. One gift card winner after this product. Go ahead and do now is I have the lights off and I want to show you guys this color accuracy check. And the reason I want to do this is I want you guys to see how good of a job. Thank you for the follow, Lori Meyer. Much appreciated. Reproducing colors, which in my opinion it's phenomenal. And then I'll make sure you guys can hear how good the audio coming from the Nebula sounds as well. So let's go ahead and play the video. And so we have it turned down all the way right now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just make sure you guys are able to hear the loudness or the clarity coming from the speaker itself guys this is a 480p projector that looks this good this anchor nebula and again the nebula capsule and the carousel is better than the one he's showing you but the one he's showing you is a 480p projector and it looks as better than most 720p projectors Oops. And if you guys take a look at the fears. bottom left of the screen, you guys might notice here soon that my cat is going to make an appearance. No to Michael. Who's Michael? What I want to go ahead and do now is I'm going to turn this up all the way, and I'm basically going to pull the camera away from the actual microphone that I'm recording oh, with yeah. just so you guys can hear the how good this sounds say Google. you're sitting away from it. Listen to the sound too coming from that capsule. I, it's just insane. 480p projector is doing this good of a projected image. It sounds this good. That little capsule. So speaker. as you guys could probably take a closer look at some of the picture quality on this, and as you it, it, it's insane. That is only the size of a Coke can, roughly. It has amazing picture quality, and with Android 7.1, this little beast is going to have every single app you want for your TV shows, movies, and just anything along those lines. So definitely check out does not fall short bloody standards. So thank you for watching. So again, that's the Anchor Nebula capsule. We have the Max, the Capsule Max in the carousel, and that's the one on deal today. The Capsule Max is 720p and is even better than the one he just showed you, which is 480p. Extremely, extremely impressive mini projector. Now, next up is Anchor's 
Elite Laser Projectors. Now, we have not had a chance to review these on hand yet, so I'm gonna show you the features of a laser projector. A laser projector, obviously, is one where it could project an image a lot closer to your wall or your projector um, display, your projection display, than a regular projector, which needs to be further back. So it has uh, advantages in that way. Let me uh, open this up here. If I can get that going. Let's see that product page load. Okay. Laser 4K projector, 2400 ISO lumens with full Android TV 10.0 and autofocus. So, again, incredible deal on this projector. I've requested Anchor to send us this projector. I'm really hoping that they send us this projector because I really want to see Nate compare this 4K laser projector to their Cosmos and the other laser projector that he has. But if you're looking for like a projector that can do, let's see, how, how large can the screen get on this one? This one can get to, uh, wow, it says it could go bright enough to be even be watched during the day. And do, 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 150 inch screen. So a 4K laser projector with a maximum of 60 to 150 inch screen at this price on deal is far less expensive than getting any 4K TV. You can't get a 4K 150 inch TV for that price. So factor in that you get the projector, even if you have to buy a separate projection screen that's that's ambient light resistant or, or re reduction, or say the projector paint that painted to your wall, you'll actually save money doing a projector system uh, for your entertainment than you would buying a screen, a 4K screen size in the 150 inch category. It also has a 10 watt plus two five watt speakers in it. so. That thing has quite the sound system. And a projector will mostly, like a projector like this, guaranteed to have better built-in speakers than, say, a uh, Sony Bravia TV because the TVs can't really have huge bass speakers without distorting the image. So uh, as good as some of the TV speakers are, a TV speaker isn't isn't going to have as, as good a sound system. So the only thing it doesn't have is it lacks a battery so that you could play it when it's not plugged in. So that would be about the only thing about it. But I'm very excited about this projector and I really hope that Nate gets one to review. I have the request out there. I would love to see this thing being showcased. It's definitely um, definitely of, of interest to us to showcase this projector. My name is Lucky. <laughs> Next we have the InnoCN 40 inch gaming monitor, which is an incredible deal for a 40 inch ultra wide monitor. And James loves this monitor, but currently this monitor, he isn't even able to take advantage of yet because he does not have a mount to use this monitor. So he tested it and it's still sitting. Oh, he's not giving this one away. He's keeping this monitor. He's just waiting until he can get the space set up to actually use this monitor. But this thing is tremendous. It's bigger than my monitor. I'm using a 32 inch monitor right now. And my monitor is 32 inches. This is 40 inches. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Innocent. This is their new monitor. This is a 40C1R model number, guys. This and is I was going to draw the gift card winner, and I forgot to. I'm going to draw the gift card winner now. So sorry about the sorry about forgetting. Drawing the gift card winner now. Dragonblogger.com/slash gift card. I'm drawing the gift card winner right now. Hey, call that geek. Welcome. Good to see you here. How are you doing, buddy? So Dragonblogger.com/slash gift card. I'm going to draw the first gift card winner right now of the stream. Only t only type in chat if you're not ready. Say not ready if you don't want me to draw. I'll give it 10 seconds. If nobody says not ready, then I'm going to draw the winner. Only say not ready if you're not ready. Lisa C, if you have not been added yet, go to dragonblogger.com slash gift card. The way to enter in the giveaway is on that website. There'll be a page that loads. There's two giveaways to enter. There is the gift card giveaway, which is the top one and the product, the mystery product giveaway, which is the second giveaway. So enter both of them. Right now, though, enter the top one first. Enter the gift card giveaway first. All right, I'm waiting for Lisa C to say ready or anybody else to say not ready. You don't have to say ready except for Lisa C. I'll assume you're ready unless I see that we're not ready. So again, dragonblogger.com slash gift card. I'll post that and restream for anybody on my other networks who has not entered yet. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. Yes. I'm waiting for Lisa C to tell me she's ready, and then I will draw the winner.
Lisa C., let me know when you are ready. Let's see. All right. Uh, Linda's ready. Cindy's ready. Everybody else is ready. Still waiting for Lisa C. She was the one who said not ready. Everybody gets a fair chance. Yes, I know you're ready, Arden. Where is Lisa C? Are you ready yet? She's probably on the website entering. I'll type the winner in chat, Delilah. Oh, uh, she can't hear me. Okay. That just reminded me. Some people who are watching on Twitch are getting ads, and so I need to make sure I type the winner in chat, not just say it verbally in case they're in the middle of stuck on an ad and they can't hear. So then they wouldn't be able to claim before the ad ads, which wouldn't be fair. Wouldn't be very nice. So waiting for Lisa. C. All right, I can't wait forever. Ten seconds, Lisa C. I gotta draw a winner. Nine, eight, seven. Six. Hey, I see you on YouTube. Zero zero one one one. Welcome. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Hey, Bon Bon. Welcome. So we're just drawing the first gift card winner of the stream. Um, Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. But if you haven't entered in time to be in the drawing for this draw, you still have plenty of time because there's more draws coming up. So make sure you enter the giveaways. But Lisa, I didn't see a response, but I'm going to draw the winner now. So if you enter, you'll still be eligible for the draw later. The winner of the first winner of the gift card this stream is Sheila B. Sheila B, are you in chat? Sheila B is the first winner of the gift card this stream. Uh, Sheila B. And again, I said I was going to post it in chat in case somebody got an ad. Because I don't know if she's on it. I'm pretty sure she's on Amazon. Sheila B on Amazon? Sheila B claim? Sheila B here? Sheila B here? I don't see the claim. I think I saw Sheila at the very beginning of the stream. Not. Nah. Anybody see Sheila B's response? Sometimes Amazon chat's kind of funny. Only 60 seconds to claim. Hey, Keith, thank you for the follow. Yep, there's Sheila Bealey. I saw you. Congratulations, Sheila. You claimed. All right, now we'll get to the back to the TV. Widescreen monitor. This is a 21 to 9 contrast ratio, guys, which is really, really cool. Now I'll skip around a little bit just so you can see how nice this monitor looks. You will need the space. Now, like I said, it does have a USB-C uh, style plug in there. It does. But I know people love their portable consoles and their portable gaming consoles like the Switch, but I don't like playing games on a small screen. I personally like playing games on a big screen, big TV, big computer monitor. I don't. I, I like the concept of a handheld portable. I just don't like playing games on a small screen. Hence, I love the idea of putting the Switch on a monitor this size. HDMI ports. It also has the display port, guys. And you also have one 3.5 millimeter audio jack, but it does have speakers built in. Now it is highly compatible with all your consoles, so don't worry, that's why I have the Switch hooked up for you today and showing you guys this, which is actually quite cool. And like, you know, like I said, it will take an HDMI 2.0 or the Type-C 9 <laughs> yeah, exactly. or the Display Port if you need. It I know mobile gaming is all the thing, call that geek. I, I can't do mobile gaming. I just can't game on a small iPhone screen. Even with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I just can't game on a small screen. I have to game on a big screen. I don't like mobile gaming. It's a 95% DCI P3 wide color gaming. Oh, so nice, Sheila. Yeah, and if you want a gift card, you're still yeah, eligible you're to win the mystery product or one of the other physical prizes. Kind of so winning the gift card does not, okay, uh, no, does not mean you're not el guys. ineligible. Uh, well, that's a double negative. You're still right? eligible. We have this little controller here. Look at that. I just, I, okay, so gaming monitors, so important to know about monitors is when you play games, a lot of games, especially like movies, it's the dark, the, the deep blacks and dark grays that matter. 
right? The contrast ratio, the very deep grays and blacks. And as you could kind of tell here, even just by showing off the Mario game, how well this monitor handles oh. going from dark and gray into the color. It's just a really, really nice game monitor. And at the price it's at, four seventy nine ninety nine for forty inch ultra wide. Awesome colors. That now is I'm gonna impressive. move the camera a little more, so you guys can see this a little better. Now, like I said, man. So that is correct, Garrett. You can win a physical prize and the mystery box, but only one alternative physical prize, not two. So you can enter the mystery box and win another physical prize. I still have a few more physical prizes I'm giving away too, besides the mystery box. It is large. Let's take this. Uh... So again, tube for comparison, right? This tube <laughs> is actually not that short, but you know it's funny when James takes this tube and he measures. He says it's large, and he takes just a random roll of tube to measure. And it reminds me of all the memes that make fun of Americans that they use anything to measure the length of something instead of an actual unit of measurement. Like, oh, let's see how this compares against the length of a banana or the length of a tube, because it's so true. Um, that meme that makes fun of Americans who are always measuring stuff by like the size of their shoe or the size, <laughs> or something that never has a standard measurement. There's no way to get a good gauge. It's it's the funniest meme whatsoever because you see news stories when they say like pothole the size of three refrigerators in the news stories. You know, there's stuff like that all the time where they'll always use a measurement that's completely like like you know completely like um, you know it's just not accurate. There's no way to actually get a detail of it. So. Um, that just makes me that just makes me laugh because we do it too sometimes <laughs> like this random this random tube cardboard tube that's compared to the length of this no idea how long that cardboard tube is and so no idea how you know what the measurement actually is uh yeah exactly finger joints uh it's just so funny but I especially I love the news articles about the whole like the pothole measurements and how they use you know the size of a washing machine for a pothole <laughs> instead of just you know giving the exact you know just tell me how many feet by how many feet or tell me how many meters by how many meters but no it's it's you know how many objects in length <laughs> just hilarious all right next up we have the Lamicol adjustable tablet stand and this is our next product mystery product giveaway so I'm going to be giving away one of these Lamicol tablet stands next so you enter dragonblogger.com slash enter live and one of these tablet stand holders which works for a phone will be the next physical product we are giving away to one lucky winner so go ahead and enter today we're taking a quick look at the lammy call s1 phone stand guys this is actually a pretty cool phone stand i as you guys probably know I use the Lamy. And I can tell that video was done before he got the Sony cam because it's very white, overly uh, white balanced. Call adjustable phone stand all the time for. That's the my old webcam, iPhone. not the new webcam. But I always need another phone stand. So this one is actually really cool. We're going to pop this open, give you guys your first look at this. Wow, tractor trailer torn in half. Crazy. This is actually really, really cool about this. So it is a metal. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. Dragonblogger.com cool. cool. slash gift card sharp, is where you go to enter the giveaways. So you can stick your cord through, and I'll actually grab Copy a and paste. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. This. You literally can feed your cord through, guys, right? Yeah, yeah or like a sinkhole, right? How many Lego bricks fit in a sinkhole? Phone and have it charging on the base. Now, the cool thing about this is, and I'm going to point out some of the stuff, you know, that they're proud of their logo. They have guys, let me call. I use Lamy Call too. Love Lamy Call products. They make excellent tablet stands, phone holders. You can see I have one right here. Now his is the tablet stand, so it's more, it's wider, it's larger, holds a larger device. But they have the clever design where you can always run the cord through the center, and it doesn't interfere with anything. Big fan of Lamy Call products. I use multiple holders. We, three or four of us on the team have Lamy Call holders at this point. So this is your chance to win one of those Lamy Call holders. I will go ahead and draw the winner now, unless you say not ready in chat. Somebody's going to win this Lamical tablet stand, and this is sponsored by Lamical. Lamical will actually ship you the tablet stand. Again, USA only address for this one. So, yes, I know. James says it could take two to three days from the fix that roof, finally. Yeah, they're nice. They're really useful. So, enter dragonblogger.com slash gift card. The second giveaway on that page is for any physical prizes. The first giveaway on that page is for the gift cards only. So we separate out the physical prizes from the digital prizes because the digital prizes are international. The physical prizes, you have to have a USA shipping address to receive the physical prize. There's no substitutions for this one. So 
Only only receive the prize or pass if you're joining us the winner. All right. We're going to go ahead and check how many users have entered for this giveaway right now. So far, we're at 63 users have entered to win a physical prize. 70 have entered to win a gift card. So we're going to go ahead and draw the winner of this Lama Call Tablet Stead right now. And again, there's more physical prizes coming. And I realize I'm going way over on this stream because it was a deal stream, but so be it. All right, physical prize, ready for the winner. Let me see, anybody not ready? Let's see, is anybody not ready, not ready, not ready? All right, everybody looks ready. All right, physical prize it is. And again, it's on sale, it's only $15.99. That's $10 off, it's normally $24.99. Okay, it's $9 off. Still, it is a really good deal if you need a tablet stand. And you could use it for your phone too, but this is great for like the Fire Tablet, the iPad, you know, whatever tablet you got that you want to use on the stand. The winner is, yeah, different physical prizes. Reagan L. Is Reagan L in chat? Reagan L is the winner of the Amical Tablet Stand. Reagan L, winner of Tablet Stand if claimed. Okay, I see you, Reagan. I didn't even have to type it. You want the Tablet Stand, I assume, Reagan, or pass? I'll assume you want it, unless I hear otherwise. Let me call tablet stand. Call tablet stand. I have to. Okay, perfect. What is the link for the physical prize? It's dragonblogger.com slash gift card. Same, same website, dragonblogger.com slash gift card. There's two giveaway widgets from Gleam on the same page. That you'll see this says enter to win a gift card, enter to win the mystery product. So just enter both if you want to have a chance to win either or. Okay. Revelin R, how you doing? Melissa, welcome. Melissa, we've only done a couple of giveaways. We still have a lot more giveaways to do. So we're not done doing giveaways. There's still more. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card is where you want to go and enter those. We're going to move on to the next product. And this is a product that I've had on my wish list for quite a while. I don't have it on hand yet or a variant of this product. So I go through a lot of ice, like a tremendous amount of ice because I drink coffee all day long. All day long I drink coffee, but I don't like hot coffee. Ironically, I drink 14 cups of coffee a day. I don't drink hot coffee. I like, I don't like hot beverages that much. I drink iced beverages. So I drink so much iced beverages, so many, so many cups of iced beverages, 14 cups of coffee a day, that I go through more ice than I, I don't have an ice maker in my, free, in my fridge because I don't have an, a water line to my fridge. So I have to use a combination of ice cube trays, but I burn through three ice cube trays in less than a day and they, it can't freeze ice fast enough for me to keep my drinks cold. So I'm often having to go to my shopping store, my Vons, and I'm having to buy seven pound bags of ice you know, breaking those up and putting those in my freezer. And I go through seven pounds of ice roughly every three or four days uh, that, I, that I buy for months. But that adds up, right? So I'm spending like maybe three, four dollars a bag two times a week. So let's say I'm spending eight dollars a week on ice. Um, that's about $32 a month. That is literally what I'm spending on ice. $32 a month. Ten months of that, I could have bought in this and I could just make my own ice on my countertop at home. So an ice, nug an ice nugget maker or nugget ice maker is on my list of products to do. And this one makes 30 pounds of ice per day. Two different um, bullet sizes of ice makers. Yep, so I really am interested in this one. I've uh, added another variant one. It's a really, really good deal. Normally $499.99, is $339.99. I'm almost concerned pulling the trigger. The only thing that stops me from pulling the trigger, I'm buying this myself and showing you this on hand, is... I have no counter space. <laughs> my counter space is tied up with an air, fr air fryer, toaster oven. It's a Keurig, my 14 cup brewer, my toaster, you know, the fruit basket, the, the, the dish thing. So like the only thing is I really don't have a lot of counter space. So and so that's the only thing that, that I'm hesitating on buying this is because I don't have the counter space in the kitchen to, to put it easily. I'd have to displace something or put it somewhere else. So I have to figure out if I could if I can um, really find a permanent home for it, because I don't want to like put it in my room and have it here in my in my office and just have like an ice maker on my desk or like one of my spare desks. So I just have to figure out the spacing issue of it. But the fact that it's self-cleaning, three quarts of water, a reservoir, 30 pounds per day of ice, this is the ultimate solution. Like if you're like me and you do 14 cups of hot coffee a day and you only drink iced coffee like I do, I need to get ice. 
Uh, yeah. I'll, yeah. Let's not talk about that. I used to I used to live in a giant home, and I used to have an, a fridge with an ice maker line that I didn't need the separate ice maker. But this is pretty cool for that. We also, you know, it's hot. I mean, I don't even have air conditioning, central air conditioning in my house, right? So I have to have portable ACs in every... And I have portable ACs in my office, I have portable ACs in my son's room, and I have portable ACs in the living room. So I have three portable ACs in my house. And we're going to get to that ACs in a little bit here. Because when you, in California, when you live too close to the coast, and older houses, like houses that were born in the 60s and 70s, they did not have air conditioning. And so there's no centralized air conditioning, so you're stuck just making do because they didn't expect global warming and the heat. Because back then, it never really got above 75 you know, in the summer, and now it gets to be like 90, 95 on the hot days, even when you're close to the beach. So um, you have to compensate by having portable air conditioning. But ice is the way to go. This is a great deal today, something I'm definitely interested in. I just haven't figured out if I can find a counter space for it yet. So next up is one of the more popular products. Now, I didn't realize, because I live in a very, very dry climate, so I didn't realize that dehumidifiers are as popular as they are because when I look at my Amazon, I see that we sell actually a lot of these dehumidifiers from Hogar Labs. And dehumidifiers are essential if you live in areas that flood, you have basements, you have rain in your area because they help pull the moisture and suck the moisture out of a room, out of the area to dry everything off. Really, really useful for basements, especially people whose basements get moist and there's potential mold growth or if you have a spill or a flood like the heavy rains in the various places, you know, they soak into the baseboards, they get into the carpets. These will suck the moisture out of the air and do it very fast. And they can help prevent damage and save costs from having um, water damage just by having a strong dehumidifier like this. So, James here with a little showcase of the Hogar Labs 3,500 square foot dehumidifier, guys. I want to show you guys some of the stuff up close, like turning the power on. If you guys just hit the power, it comes on. You have a digital little readout here that'll tell you what your humidification yeah. level is at. You can adjust that. Well, it's funny. Um, Nikita reviewed a dehumidifier by a different brand. He reviewed a dehumidifier that was so effective, it dried out him and his girlfriend's nasal passages and gave them nosebleeds because it sucked so much moisture out of the air that it caused their nasal passages to become too dry to where they couldn't even get enough. You know, how you have to have naturally an amount of mucus in your nose to help protect your delicate tissues in your nose. So it gave them both nosebleeds that dried out their, their noses. Just All the way up to 80 it. if you want, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay. 50 it basically mummifies 50, you, literally sucks the moisture out of your skin, 70, you know, turns you into a dry, desiccated husk. If you really need. Yeah. You have a timer, hit the timer oh. all the way up to, I believe, 24-hour timer. You also have fan speed if you want to go low or high. Lock it if you want I don't remember it. if the one he had had an automatic automatize. humidity setting or not an automatic Off, setting. Easy. This Push one that dry. James is reviewing, though, is a higher-end dehumidifier than the one that, that, is on high fan. that Nikita did. This one's a smart it dehumidifier, so it won't go yeah, below the humidity level you set it to. Mode. Take it out. You can this one is a fantastic dehumidifier if you need one. Still locked in place. You know, with James's apartment so, leaking, his, his roof leaking, right him having now, a dehumidifier was advantageous for all the leaking he had in his roof in his apartment. Wow. So He's just there. randomly pressing buttons at this point. <laughs> Does this work here? Device. Hopefully you guys can see this. So the way that the humidifier works is it sucks the moisture out of the air and it really does pull the moisture and then it fills up its tank and you have to drain its tank when it fills up because the tank will fill up and has to be drained. Um, some dehumidifiers, not this one, but some of them allow you to do an output, like to run an output line out a window or out a screen or out a door where they could kind of drain continuously while they're sucking out the moisture. But but this one fills the tank and you got to spill the tank down the sink or the, down the tub or something like that. Uh, when it sucks in the moisture. But if you need a dehumidifier, this one covers a 3,500 square foot area and has a 50 pint tank. So it could suck up 50 pints of water before you need to actually replace it. Again, if you're the kind of person who lives in an area that floods, you have a basement that's very moist and humid. Um, you have Even if you use it like underneath an attic or think of all those type of areas where you need to um, just potentially pull moisture. Maybe your wood's a little moist or or there's just a little too much humidity, they're, fa they're fantastic for getting rid of that moisture and keeping things dry. So, good product. Next up, 
Anchor X8 vacuum, which I've personally used myself. And let me see, when's the next giveaway? Let me double check my my uh, streaming schedule here. All right, come up soon, come up soon. I'll move a little faster. I know I'm going too long. I'll move a little faster. I am moving a, I'm a little bit behind schedule today. So Anchor X8 RoboVac, and I have used this one multiple times. And rather than just show you the same this video, is but the Eufy X8 RoboVac up here, which most RoboVacs don't have, the lower end models that does better mapping and, and sensor. So rather than just have you listen to me talk about it, I'll just talk about it. So the Eufy X8 RoboVac is the most powerful RoboVac that I have personally tested, particularly because of its dual 2000 amp motors. It is able to really pull and grip on the carpet and clean carpets better than the G30 and other RoboVacs I've tested. Most RoboVacs are great for like hard floors, you know, like um, hard floors or wood floors where there's not a lot of carpeting or there's very, very thin carpeting um, where they'll pick up and they'll sweep up the dust and things like that. But a lot of RoboVacs aren't so good on carpets. They can't yank and like really get into the deep carpet fibers like say a Dyson vacuum or a really powerful vacuum. This one is a really close um, second, it can actually do carpets really well. It has the best sensor mapping out of any vacuum I've tested with its little laser sensor on the top. It can navigate around the smallest of spaces. It was able to weave in and out of my exercise indoor bike where I have the bike pedal and I have the little footprint of the bike. It was able to weave in and out of that just fine. It goes around in between chair legs, doesn't get stuck. It does a fantastic job. It is really, really good. It is a fantastic price. The only thing I would say is if you see the X8 Hybrid on sale, close to the price of the X8, the X8 Hybrid can mop, not just vac. But if you just need a vac, this is the way to go. If your house is like mine, where you have more hard floor, and I'll have a few carpet rooms, you might want one that's a hybrid mop vac. That way you can mop as well as vac. Or else if you have the majority of carpeting, and you just want to handle the carpeting more without you having to physically get out. It dramatically reduces the amount of time that you have to get out yourself a vacuum and start back in the carpets. Set the robot to go, let it do its own schedule. It goes back and charges itself when it's done. The only thing to watch out for, which is the problem that I have in my house, is some pets do not like RoboVacs. And my dog does not like the RoboVac, and he will not leave it alone. No matter how much I try to acclimate him to it, he still bangs up against it. He still attacks it. He prevents it from doing its job and mapping and, and getting a lay of the room because he's just constantly constantly attacking it so um the only thing though is some dogs just will not tolerate a robot i'm not sure some cats might be scared of it but but not actively attack it like my dog does my dog does not let me use a robovac that's about the only thing i could tell you so you know just just know if you buy a robovac and you have a pet just make you know most pets don't care some do so i'm just there's something to know about the robovac the eufy x8 by anchor absolutely fantastic this price it is the best robovac for this price that you can buy because of the dual suction motor. It will do carpets very, very well. Most Robovacs do not do deep carpeting. This will actually leave like, like when you run a vacuum on your carpet and you could see how it really pulled up the carpet and stood up the carpet fibers up straight again, this will do that and it does it really well. Thank you for the follow, Miriam. Much appreciated. Yeah, that would be cool. If like, you know, a cat sits on the Robovac and just records it and stuff like that, that would be awesome. Hey John, how you doing? So next up, we have Eufy Security's Eufy Cam. Now, James covered this one, and home security is more important than ever. Even if you live in an apartment, you need a cam. But be careful about an apartment because you're only allowed to record the area you live in. You can't, like, put it outside your apartment and record an area where other people can be caught. Only public areas or your own private residency. But it's really important to have recordings. Porch pirates, thieves, you know, it's just a sense of security and having multi, a multi-cam system like the UV Security, UV Cam 2C is just an excellent option. I have multiple security cams in my household, although I got them before from a different brand, the UV 2C. Um, the UV Cam 2C is better than the one that, that I have by far. By far. And I'll show you, James does an actual like show you video on that. James here. And today on the phone, first you open up the Play Store if you have one, you click Home, that popped up. So if you want to add a new device, right, you click Plus. Home Base 2 is the one you're going to want for this system. You click Home Base 2, Add New Home, then it's going to tell you how to walk through, name it, and all of that stuff, and pairing it up. 
which is very simple. So you just yep, go this like more giveaway is coming. Uh, you're not you're not too late. Dragonblock.com slash gift Connect card. your home base to your lane's go router. Ahead and enter. Then go next. I've still got more gift cards and I got a couple of physical and products. Connect left. and it'll pair. Uh, the Since gift we've cards. already did that, we don't need gift to do cards that. Only. But we Hopefully do have a camera on. So still how two do you more gift cards. Camera? Well, first you go down, you find the Eufy Cam 2 2 Pro. That's not the one we want. We want the Eufy Cam 2 C Pro. You click this. Now it says keep camera and home base within one meter. I'm definitely within one meter. So we're going to click next. Now it's going to say click connect the sync button. Well, the sync button is right here on top of the camera. Okay. I'm going to click that. You're going to see it beeps and turns red. Now the home base is actually going to detect it itself once I click that. Now you will hear back there adding device, discovering camera. Let's point the camera at something a little, little, uh, let's say, let's point it at the door over here. Just like that. We are pointed at the door. Hopefully the door will see it. Now we're going to click and detect what we wanted to say. I'm going to say living room for now. Since this is a, a little bit, a little bit. Mounting and you hear the phone. Yeah. If I hold speak, you know, it needs uh, the request permission. So we will say while using this app, hey, get out of my house. Hey, get out of my house. You guys should hear it in the background. So that yeah. works. We can clip it or we can start recording. We are now recording a clip of what we want. So there's a lot more reasons to use a security cam than just simply monitoring your home for intruders, right? Let's say you're the type of person that has to go into an office and you leave your pets home alone for hours during the day. Maybe you want to just keep check on your pets and keep them monitored, you know, keep track of what's going on during the day. Check in on your kids if you leave them home with a babysitter. Um, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of reasons to have a security monitoring system around your house. It'd not just be for security and seeing if somebody's your package is up front, there's a delivery, but there's all sorts of benefits. I mean, unless you really leave your house completely vacant and you just want outdoor security, there's all sorts of reasons you might want to have a security system, uh, especially one that sends you alerts and notifications in real time to your phone if it detects something. So uh, I'm one of those people that when I had, when my kids were little, you know, um, if I was going to have a babysitter, I would want, now I have grandparents, right? So in, in my case, I'm just telling you a hypothetical because I always had my, my, my wife's parents have always babysit my kids and then they'd have to worry about this stuff. But if I like hired babysitters that I don't know, like this services for babysitters, I would want camera footage because you see the horror stories, right? You know, there's always that, that risk. I'm sorry, if, if somebody I don't know is going to be watching my little kids or my toddlers, I want footage of that the entire time, right? I want that, that sense of security. So that's why you want to have home security system um if you're fortunate enough to where you have family and relatives but you know even distant relatives you know you never can be too careful and you know what all it takes is is, is one risky situation to destroy a life so uh, you know uh, so i don't take those risks i'm very risk averse so very important very important um next up on the list really really fun if you like golfing or you like playing golf, even if you don't get to a golf field and you like, want to play a, as realistic of a golf game as possible, this is where the Fi Golf Simulator comes in. And Nate really uh, makes this look fun. Because have you ever been to like the malls or those like corporate events where they always have those like golf simulators? For some reason, whenever I went to corporate events for my day job, they always like hire these golf simulator like setup scenarios where they have these like these like booths where people like pretend to swing golf clubs. And this reminded me of that, those like corporate golf simulator type games, because that's what this reminds me of. And I don't even play golf, but this looks like fun. Like I played Wii Golf and I played like Zenny Golf game on the PC and, and Mini Golf and stuff like that. But this looks just super, super fun. And I realized I put in the wrong thing. So there we go. I'll skip to just where he's hey, playing what's going it. on, guys? Nathaniel with the sleeve. In summary, really solid and really it comes with a very realistic heavy metal club with the sensor ball on the end of it. And you pair it up with the game, and you could keep score. You could play all sorts of different courses. Go ahead and launch courses. the app just because this is the official app. It's pretty you awesome. You'll notice whenever you first open the app for the first time, it will take a little bit to load. But after that, you should be good to go. There's really nothing to setting this up, my friends. So now that you have the app installed, yeah, I, and you have the I don't know the obsession with golf. I'm not a golfer. On top of the sensor right here until it starts flashing like you I would see. find this more fun and than golfing on a real course. I'll be honest with you. app will automatically recognize 
that it is connected and it will pair because i love Wii golf and i love like so you know motion controls you i just things you can do standing out in the heat on a golf course driving right from now, you know just in the practice course to course and this kind of tells you everything you need to know about your swing <laughs> so you guys can see right here on the screen Hey Doris, how are you doing? I'm running path, I'm running long board, today, so you still have a chance to enter the giveaway. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. I'm gonna give another gift card giveaway right after this product. So dragonblogger.com slash gift card. I'm doing one gift card after this product. But I am running long today because today's a special deer stream. Let me pause it so I don't talk over Nate's voice. So today's a special deal stream sponsored by Anchor Soundcore. So today I don't usually do deal streams myself. But because today is a special deal of the day and Anchor is a fantastic sponsor and brand partner, we did a special deal stream today sponsored by Anchor. And so we gave away one Soundcore 2 speaker at the beginning of the stream. We showcased a bunch of their awesome deals of the day. So that's why today's a special stream is a little longer and we had more product giveaways this stream. So if you're new here, I have to point out we have a ton of giveaways. We have a few left. There's two more gift card giveaways during the stream. Enter at dragonbar.com slash gift card. We have two more physical prizes left to do the stream. But also on our website, we have a couple of big giveaways right now. We have the gaming laptop giveaway. That ends next Saturday. So somebody will have a chance to win a gigabyte GDG5 gaming laptop. Or they could choose the $800 PayPal or Amazon gift card. We're also giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite with the Pokemon Arceus game as well. That ends on 917, so you can go ahead and answer those. Those site giveaways um, are not drawn today. Those are website giveaways that are drawn at a later date. Today's giveaways will be a gift cards and some mystery products, which I'll tell you about soon. So I'm gonna just go through the rest of this really quick here. You can see golf simulator game. If you wanna play golf indoors as close to the real thing without having to go out in the heat, Without having to deal with paying the golf course fees, this is just a fantastic way. It actually is so much of a simulator, it can help you improve your swings too. So it's not just a game, it actually will help improve your golf game too, or so it says. But I can't validate that because neither me nor Nate or anybody on my team that I'm aware of plays golf well enough that we can validate whether it makes you a better golfer, just that it's fun and it's enjoyable to play. So next up on the list, I was telling you about air conditioning. Air conditioning, I don't have a centralized air conditioning in my house. So it, I actually have three portable AC units um, because it gets so hot here and I don't have any air conditioning. So I used to have like five high velocity fans just circulating in the high heat until it became too unbearable and I had to have portable air conditioning. Now, this air conditioner, why is that video not loading? Give me a second. Let's go on with this. So I'm here in my garage. Ooh, did I have the same bug that, that others have reported? Let's see here. Boom. 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 Ooh, not working. Nice. Okay, what's going with that? Give me a second. That. Oh. I ran into that same bug that um that others have run into occasionally where it won't show the actual browser source. It like just dies and stops working for some reason. So let me switch scenes and see if I can fix it in another scene. Give me a second. We've had that happen before. It, like, it, after it reaches a certain amount, it just decides like I've had enough, I can't do it anymore. Can't do it anymore. Let's see if that works. No, the browser source is not working anymore. All right, well, that's not cool, is it? Hmm, okay. Let me fix this. I have another idea. It's a little, a little more risky for me because I have so many windows open, but let's see if I can fix this here. <sighs> All right, so let me open up Edge browser because I know I don't, uh, let me try to share an application instead and do the Edge browser and do it that way. Let me see if that works. All right, let me see this here. So I'll do application share instead of browser share, source share and see if it works that way. Bear with me one second here. So I'll do game capture, but it's not really game capture. It is capture specific window. Let me see if I can find my edge browser. Where is it here? Edge, 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 where are you? Um, MS edge, yeah, that's it, okay. And let's see, I'll see, does that work if I 
No, it's not working. Capture specific window is not working. Capture any full screen application. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a problem. All right, well, I cannot get the window captures to work. Which means I'll have to roll, run through the rest of the products a little faster and talk about them without being able to show the page, which is really annoying. I apologize about that. My open broadcast software will not allow either game capture or or uh, browser source to work. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, it looks like we're not going to be able to show videos for the rest of the stream. Just get right to the giveaways and 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 the talking then, huh? I broke it. That's right. All right. So window air conditioner. Um, sorry, I can't show you the video, but Nikita did the video for this one. I could describe it as if I, I I've done it myself. So. This is an 8,000 BTU window air conditioner. So 8,000 BTU, the more BTU, um, I think it stands for British temperature unit or something like that. It's, it has to do with the um, the amount of exchange between heat and cool air. The more BTU, the better it does the exchange and the more it can cool off the room. So 8,000 BTU is ideal for like British thermal unit. Thank you, Jeff. So the 8,000 BTU is ideal for a smaller room, probably around 200 to 200 square foot max because it'll fight really hard against larger rooms. So it's good for, he used it in his garage to keep his garage cool when his garage door is closed. That way he could keep his work in his garage and not be boiling. Whereas I have no air conditioning in my garage at all. So if I try to like work on my son's bike in my garage, even with, even in the shade, it's like 95 degrees in there and I'm sweating and boiling. So he uses it in a garage, but it's good for a basement. It's good for a single bedroom. Now I happen to have, yeah, I'll post the link in chat. It's also in the carousel too. So not sure if you could see um, the carousel when you're watching the live stream, but it's always should be clickable on the live stream. But I'll post the link in chat as well. Um, the link to the video, you mean? Yeah, I can do that too. I can post the link to the video too. But it, that would take you off the stream to click on the video link. So you might as well just hear me talk about it, which is easier that way. So again, if you need it, if you need air conditioning, this is the way to go. And um, for single room air conditioning. Now in my current house. It turns out that the house I live in, and a lot of houses in California like this, I've had problems with Windows air conditioners. Windows air conditioners like this only work in houses where your windows go vertical up and down. But if you have a house like mine where you have sliding windows, like patio style windows that slide side to side, you can't use these type of air conditioners. So in those case, mine, I have to use a portable air conditioner that's on wheels, that's a ground unit. And instead, it has a hose that goes to my window with this little attachment that goes in the window uh, vertically that helps output the heat out of the weather. But these type of air conditioners only work in windows that, that open up and down vertically, not ones that open up horizontally. So that's just one thing to know. <coughs> so I'm going to give away another gift card right now. One more gift card giveaway. Enter dragonbar.com slash gift card. I'm going to draw another winner right now for a gift card. I'll give it 30 seconds and then I'll draw the winner for another gift card. 30 seconds. And let me cough some more. <coughs> I'm almost out of coffee. Hey, Melissa, see, I see you on YouTube. Thank you for joining the stream. I see Shrek 2000 Ben on Twitch as well. So, dragonblogger.com slash gift card. I'm doing another gift card winner now and then I'm going to do two more products. Uh, gift card winner and product in stream and one gift card win uh, one product next as well. Dragonbar.com slash gift card. That's how you go to enter. I actually have a little bit of coffee left right now. But I'm talking so much. And coffee is a little acidic, right? So coffee doesn't actually like hydrate very well. So I'm talking so much, I'm giving myself like dry mouth and cotton mouth. And the coffee is not really hydrating it that much. All right. So I'm going to draw the winner of the gift card right now. And the winner is, let's see, who's the winner? First, let me tell you how many people entered. So we're up to 76 people have entered to win a gift card. 69 people um, are entered to win a physical product. So we're going to go ahead and winner of the um, gift card right now. This is the second gift card winner of the stream. The second gift card winner is um, Kareem M, which F might be, is that Chucky? I think, let me say Kareem M. Let me check here. I think that sounds like Chucky. Or it might be bison. Let me see. I don't know if you entered. I haven't like looked at individual names, but I can track. Um, let me see. Cream M. That is you, right, Chucky? Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. 
Congratulations, Chucky. You win the gift card. I, sometimes I don't remember the, the names, you know, but, you know, until it's, like, repetitive. Um, first, they're Amazon handles. So, okay, Chucky wins the gift card. Second gift card winner. So far, this stream, Jennifer L. won the Soundcore 2 Bluetooth speaker. Reagan L. won the Lammy Call tablet. Sheila B. and Chucky both won gift cards. But we have some more to, get, uh, to give away next. Next up is this LXY Vegan Leather Backpack. Now, this was covered by Deer Power, and I'd love to show you the details of this or show you um, the video of it, but I'm having technical difficulties, so I'm just going to have to be able to talk about it. Let me see here. I'll try one more time to see if I can get this video working. And I'm really annoyed that I can't get this working. Um, window capture. Come on, man. Come on. You could do this. Specific window. Edge browser. Here, edge, edge, edge. Um, come on. Show it, show it, show it. Off, on, off, on. Why, why today? A lot of transparency. I have no way to like uh, force it. Uh, transform. Uh, flip horizontally. Maybe I can force it. Nope. Maybe I could uh, fit to screen. Nope. All right, I'm just not, no matter what. And the weird thing is not just, like I can't just change scenes and change it. It's not working on any scene, it's kind of weird. All right, so let me um, just talk about this LXY Vegan Leather Backpack. So this is, and it's, the reason why it's called Vegan Leather Backpack, I know, rip stream, right? Well, it just means it gets to the giveaway sooner. So this is a vintage looking backpack that has like the buckles on it, the straps. It's made of synthetic leather, plant-based leather. It's not real leather, so it just looks like leather. So that's why it's called vegan leather, because it's vegetable, synthetic leather, nylon. And this cute little backpack is very versatile uh, as a book bag or backpack. You could use it for a school bag, a day pack, all sorts of options for it. And guess what? I'm giving one away. This is the other physical prize this stream. So if you want this vegan leather backpack, oh, I've already tried closing edge. I've tried sharing um it won't grab anything. It's not just that. It won't grab Firefox, Chrome, nothing. It, the problems with open broadcast software, it can't grab anything. The browser source and the um, application doesn't work. And I don't want to do screen share because I can't risk showing like my gift card codes and, and all the other stuff that I do. So I can't desktop screen share. So yes, this is your chance to win the LXY Vegan Leather Backpack. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. This is your chance to win one. All you have to do is enter on the bottom part of that page is the second giveaway and you have a chance to win this. You won on another stream in January and still haven't received it. Oh, all the other previous winners who won from this brand have received there. So um, you should talk to whoever the host is and have them follow up. Yes, this is the last physical prize before the mystery box, I think. Let me check. Yeah, it is. So the next, the next prizes will be for the final gift cards in the mystery box after this. And I'm gonna have to actually move pretty quickly, unfortunately, because without me being able to show videos or show product pages, I have quite a little bit of a limitation. Instead, it's just gonna be looking at my face and me talking, so. All right. I'm going to pick the winner now of, you know, for the LXY vegan leather backpack. And let me see who's gonna win this one. I might have one other option. I just thought about something. One other option. So if I'm fast enough, I might be able to download this video and then just do a local video source. So let's see if, let's see if that works. So let me see if I could quickly download my video and then if a local B-roll video works. Because I, these are not two big videos, so I should be able to download them relatively quickly in seconds and then quickly local B-roll them. So that's my last option, if that works here. Give me a second. Um, so if I do local B-roll, open that up, properties, browse to the file, fingers crossed. Hey guys, thanks for coming off the I'm a genius. A vegan leather bag, so if you've got any ethical problems with leather, don't worry, this bag does work for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and- I am a genius. Unbox it, unbag it, unpackage it. <laughs> 
That just means I can now go to each so video, really download them, nice and I'll and I'll do the next one ahead of time, so you don't have to wait for me to do the download. So Ooh. while you're watching the LXY Vegan Leather Backpack, That's I'll go download the uh, mattress one next. Because nice the brands are sponsors, they deserve there, their airtime. The nice I need to like, they you seem know, to work really, really well. Airtime. Looks like you can also expand or contract your one, um, yeah. your bags. What would this be called? A little bag flap. Bag straps. <laughs> bag straps. You can adjust that so if you're carrying more in it. Oh, I didn't realize it came with a zipper on the inside. And That's good thing there's not nice. that really many parts good, left. Especially so for I like pickpocketing and things. Keeps your stuff a lot more safe. There's like a really, oh, uh -huh. ooh. There are a lot of features on this bag. Okay, so first, I'm just going to pre-stage the next videos by downloading them all ahead of time. Here. So you can Ooh, actually can unbutton just, those yeah. to make your bag a little bit bigger should you need to carry more stuff. So I'll go ahead and undo both of those so we can take a look inside the bag. The stitching itself is like really well done. It's got a nice little like laptop Ooh. sleeve in there. Like I could fit my MacBook Air or my iPad in there super easy. And it's oh, got, I can't like, see chat just a couple of pockets so you can some pens we'll or like chapstick, cell phone, just, uh, things like that. It's these. super deep. And it's got another Whatever. pocket on the outside here, which also, like, all of the inside fabric is really nice. It feels like a very no. good quality, and all the zippers are zipping really well and easily, and that's always good. Because I feel like nope, on some way. bags, you can get a really bad zipper, and then you're like, uh, uh, this is Alright. Ooh, it's got another zipper! Alright. Secret I'm zipper. Done. I got staged. I've got all the rest of the video staged, so we're good to go. I do have a NAS, but the problem is, is so... Let me pause real quick. I'll explain the situation. So, I do have a NAS, and I have 8 terabytes of NAS. The problem is my NAS is 5,400 RPM drives in there, and I have over 5,500 videos, and Windows is not capable of indexing the drive to where I could do a search without it taking 30 minutes to come back and find the video that I was looking for. So what I really need is a portable SSD drive. And just so it happens is I just bought one yesterday at Amazon. I have a four terabyte external SSD coming that will allow me to index and have much faster than my NAS. My NAS is too slow. No, I paused the video to talk. I'm gonna have to adjust the straps definitely for my, what, what yeah. you think, is it cute? It matches your outfit actually. Really? Yeah, it looks nice. Imagine all the plants that died to make that. I That's really right. I like this back. Like, this is really, really nice. And I think, like, it's a Plants nice can be grown and harvested how, and re harvested. Like, re grown and harvested. Uh, again. Minimal. Unlimited harvesting. Is. Like, I think it's really classily. So, branded. this is your chance to win this yeah. LXY vegan leather, leather backpack. Yeah. Whoa. This is a super like, nice problem. bag. Dragonbarger.com slash really gift card. Really nice it's the college. second I'm giveaway on the page. Dragonbarger.com slash gift card. I'm going to draw the winner of this vegan leather backpack right after this video plays. Netflix at work. Be super nice. That'd be a really and good And you can see her dog Hopper in the background. She's such a cute dog. And yes, he's named after Hopper from Stranger Things. All right. We're going to go ahead and draw the winner of this vegan leather backpack now. And see who wins. Let's see how many people entered now. It changed. Let's see how many people entered. 81 people have entered to win the gift card, 73 for the physical prize. So one of those 73 people is going to win this backpack. And you could choose not to claim the prize if you want. If you do win the backpack, you're still eligible for the mystery product. Lightning does strike twice occasionally. So for this vegan leather backpack, the winner is Richard E. Richard E. Is Richard E. in chat? Does Richard E. want the vegan leather backpack? Richard E, if you're in chat, Richard E, congratulations. Do you want the vegan leather backpack, Richard? And I just, <laughs> so funny, Richard, you live like 40 minutes away from me. What are the odds? If it wasn't the brand delivering the prize, and if this was a mystery box, Richard, I would do the James thing, and I would drive up and meet you and hand you the mystery box in person. That's how close you live to me. Yeah, you live really close to me. Had this not been shipped by the brand and this been a mystery box, I, and you and you win the mystery box, I will do the meet in person, deliver the mystery box, um, like James did with Siren, because I didn't. Really, you live that close to me, um, so that's kind of crazy. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put your name down here for winner of the LXY Vegan Backpack. Richard E. All right, next product on the list. I know, I mean, why not, right? If somebody's lucky enough that the geography just aligns and they're a winner and they're within driving range, it just makes for a cool recording experience, honestly. It just generates that much extra excitement. It's totally worth it, totally worth it. All right. So the next up product on the list is the Chrisley mattress. Uh, if you're looking for a hybrid mattress, Today that's a combination of memory foam plus springs. Inch memory this is the way foam to go. Mattress. And I went ahead and opened Merle's this up awesome no, two days ago, so dog a chance to fully loves this mattress. Up. And, and I've had a couple star nights on review. it, which is amazing so far. Thank you. So a couple oh. things is it has several different layers. This top layer is a very stretchy fabric to help minimize motion transfer between all right, and the next up will be the two more gift card winners at the end of the stream, which is only a couple products ahead. Two gift card winners and the mystery box winner. There's going to be a comfort memory foam layer below this. Below that is a adjustable memory foam Negative layer mystery box, not substitutable, not shipping. Cost too much to ship. Increase temperature or not increase As it is, just ship. Airflow. Okay, so, so this does not give me an example. Hot. One of my mystery below boxes that, alone was sixty-eight dollars shipping, below and that, sometimes I have a high really expensive to ship, and I'm double that to ship it. In and then there's going to be a layer of springs, which you can see right here. Too expensive. Between, to ship. Sandwiched between those two high-density layer of memory foam, each spring is individually wrapped to minimize motion transfer and decrease the squeakiness from the mattress. And it's surprisingly very comfortable. <laughs> Tell his dog likes the bed. So if you're looking for a mattress, they make eight inch, 10 inch and 12 inch thickness versions. This is the queen 10 inch that's on sale. Obviously they make full queen king. So a uh, hybrid mattress is a good way to save, is a good way to save money because a hybrid has the benefits of both the spring with the hardness. Plus you get that memory foam padding on top and you get those layers. Pardon me. All right, next up we have is the Raptic Air Tags. Now, Air Tags are pretty cool, and surprisingly, people can use, misuse Air Tags. But Air Tags have a lot of value. Air Tags are valuable for knowing where an object or something is at all times, so that you Today, can kind of we're find it. A quick look so, in case you don't know how an Air Tag works, an Apple Air Tag will beam its location to the nearest iPhone. And I'm pausing the video on purpose, so it's not frozen. So an AirTag will beam its location to the nearest iPhone and will constantly reveal its location. Um, so if you want to look up and search for your AirTag, it uses the nearest iPhone to ping you its location. They're exceptional for tracking luggage. Now where Raptic makes this Lincoln Lock AirTag, which is absolutely brilliant because AirTags can be stolen, right? My son drives, uh, rides a $1,500 e-bike. He has a Rad Power Rad Runner 2 e-bike. This AirTag with its lock and link chain allows me to attach it to his e-bike and then in case it, because e-bike theft is rampant in California. I don't know if it's rampant in every state, but e-bikes get stolen all the time. You know, you have to lock them up, but having this added to your e-bike in case you misplace it or somebody takes your bike, knowing the location, you report it. Absolutely essential. If you have something that's expensive, something that could get stolen and something that could get lost, have an air tag. Drop it in. It, it's perfect for luggage. In case the airline claims they lose your luggage, you can know where your luggage is. Um, they're just very valuable. And having this little Lincoln lock for your air tag just helps secure it so your air tag can't be taken out and discarded and stuff like that. So it's that extra level of security. It has a lot of value. Works with the Apple Air Tag. As you guys see, I have a simple Apple Air Tag sitting here. Of course, it still is wrapped because I have. We've had not luggage lost before on planes. Just yet. A uh, connecting. The it's always the connecting. We're looking at so goes with this, lost. and what it is is this arrive, is from they Raptic. Like five hours guys, Raptic is made they, they a, found a link and lock for your Apple Air Tag. What that means is this is a heavy duty combination lock. To Skip a little bit ahead in the video because it's a really simple dial. product with a combination lock. your little button. Basically, it looks like a carbiner. Press it, it pops open. Except you slide your air tag in it. Here, I'm not sure you guys can see Very this. secure, There's very hard pin. to cut. That little not saying it can't be cut with bolt cutters, so you can heavy bolt cutters, but it adds that extra level want. of deterrent. Now, right here, this plastic little shield actually slides up and out. This is what you put your Apple air tag hey, in. Hey, Angela, now, how you doing? It comes apart just like that. That's right. 
grab your Apple AirTag. Now it does go in a certain direction, just like that. You'll grab this device and you will mate it up. Uh oh, with what did I mispronounce? The actual piece. There is a little notch right here, guys. So that notch matches with this notch. And then the question is, is it my New York, out, down, is my New York like accent that caused me to mispronounce it? Or is it just uh, now, I me may not, have it not saying it right Make sure I have it on the right direction. I want to make sure it's all lined up properly for you guys. Which I do. All right. You get the backwards. gist, right? Basically, it's a lock for your air. It's a lock for your air. Secures your air tag. So that way, nobody can steal your air tag to start it, discard it. Great for luggage, great for e-bikes, great for bicycles, great for it locking on anything where you would need to, you know, know if it got stolen and be able to do location and tracking on it. So perfect option for that. Next up is the creep out solar lights. And again, I'm running way over schedule, so I will go through these very quickly. The creep out lights are fantastic deck lights or pathway lights. They're sturdy enough that if your car runs over them, they hey guys, will not break. Look at these solar they are solar these powered, are, and I'll, like, I'll skip ahead of real, real quick here and show you the look. It's they look like really these little time. hexagonal has... discs with a solar light, and they light on the side. If you have a balcony, like those wooden balconies that like these cab homes, these are awesome well, to have. So then and there just, are the you two can screw them into your balcony you or your wood, put and it, they create uh, a really, really nice it. pathway effect. So it comes with and they just look amazing. So she the demonstrates them here trigger, by hovering a I hand over them to show them turning on and off. The they auto sense so when, when it's the nighttime. Sun rises they have enough battory power them, stored from sunlight, sun from basically sunrise to sunset that they should be able to stay on virtually all night long. And look at this; they just look really nice. So if you have those kind of like wooden banisters or you want to align your driveway with them, or, the, or any kind of creative idea where you want to put these on some wooden fence posting, things like that. Because they're solar powered, you don't have to worry. Uh, carabiner? Okay, I haven't heard it that way. All right, carabiner it is. So, awesome, awesome set of solar dock lights. These are pretty awesome. Um, and very versatile. And you get a nice huge pack of eight at a time. Um, I can see you easily using twice to three times those to help illuminate your decks and stuff like that. Like when we stayed at the cabin, it had um, it was a cabin that's kind of raised, right? It was on like stilts and because the house was built on stilts because it was on the side of like a cliff. And so it had all this wooden railing around it. And they they only had like a couple of lights, like those kind of like fixture ones. But they would have been cool if they would have lined the entire railing with these type of solar powered deck lights it would have just looked awesome and i immediately thought like oh wow that would look amazing on a deck it was like this type of railing but it, it was the entire house it wasn't just the back patio the entire house was surrounded by this railing because again the house was on stilts um if you didn't have the railing there you could fall like fit in like 15 feet you know because it was kind of like on the edge of a of a hill so it was pretty cool that was the, that was at the uh the summer cabin that we stayed at back in june so it could have benefited from these quite a bit so next up on the list, Deer Power did this one uh, as well. And this is on Lightning Deer right now. This is the Flybird pull-up bar. Now what makes the Flybird pull-up bar so awesome is I've used the pull-up bars back in the olden days, right? The pull-up bars that I've used, let me pause her here for a second. The pull-up bars that I've used were ones that kind of like hook over the door frame and they go around the top of the door and they grip and counterbalance so that if you're putting your weight on them and you're grabbing on them, it kind of uses that weight, that counterweight, to push up against the wall on top of the door frame. And those can often cause damage to your door frame, cause damage to your hinges and things like that. Those actually aren't as ideal as this one. This one, because of the way it works and because of the way it uses the grip here on the actual door frame itself without having that, that U that goes up and pushes against your wall is actually a lot more secure as well as being less likely to damage your wall. Right? So that way you can actually like pull yourself up and have enough room above it to, you know, get your chin up there and everything. So you're going to position it here. You want those little foot pedals to stand um, directly against the wall there. And then you're just going to twist this bar until you feel it get taut. You're going to feel it kind of get to a point where it can't go That was the last of my coffee. 85% claim. Yep. Clamps, just in case anyone It is $60. It. So it's normally... Part, it's fifty ninety nine. So it normally is sixty dollars. It's fifty ninety nine. We've only installed right this now. a couple of times, so you're gonna have to twist it so it clamps it says. downward, you see something and else then the price? you go ahead and screw it in there if it gets twisted around. Okay, so then you want to make sure. My own Amazon right. chat says, "Oops, we were temporarily unavailable." Is, all right, and we're gonna see me do the <laughs> I'm anonymous. Anonymous. Are we ready? Curse you, anonymous bug. Can I do another one? Woo! 
Yeah, that is the lightning Can deal. Can she do it, ladies and gentlemen? Three. Oh. Yeah. Fifteen ninety nine is the lightning deal price. Yeah. So yeah, just make sure it's nice and secure. Like I said, super easy to install as long as you get this little. Clip. Oh, make the sure lights that it's facing down before you actually put uh, it. But the lights are forty one ninety nine on deal. Right here, which so if it doesn't show on deal for you, then it might be Plus location pants, based. Because there are some pull-ups that have don't Amazon. have that cushion on it, which makes it harder mm -hmm. to grip. Okay, uh, I've talked about this before, right? Um, maybe you weren't there for this one. So the Creepal lights are forty one ninety nine, but they might be depending on location. I don't know what location you are, but some discounts and deals are only for Amazon Prime members or only for certain locations. So if you look at the top left where it says deliver to and you have an address, change the address out and see if it changes the price because sometimes the deal is either only for Amazon Prime members or only for um, certain addresses, depending on what your location is. So those Creep House solo lights for me show that they're $41.99 right now, save 30%, they're on deal. But it says Prime Savings. So I'm having a feeling that this one might be only if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get the Prime Savings on this one. So somebody would need to confirm if they're non-Prime or Prime and if the price is different if you're a Prime or non-Prime. This may, because I noticed that if you're an Amazon Prime member, not only do you get free shipping, not only do you get the video service, but Amazon Prime members can get deals that you don't see, discounts on products that non-Prime members have. So there's so many reasons you should be an Amazon Prime member, and it isn't just for the free shipping, and it isn't just for watching the cool movies and, and showcases and stuff like that, but there's tons of other benefits. You get the one-year Grubhub Plus, you get all those other, other perks. Yeah, Prime member, I'm an annual Prime member. I renew it annually every year, ever since Prime came out. I'm a huge Prime member. But the deals, going to Amazon.com slash deals and Amazon.com slash gold box, Prime members can sometimes get 25 to 30% off of some products that other people don't even see that discount if they're not Prime members. Um, so if you buy from Amazon a lot, like let's say you buy even like three or four products a month from Amazon, you would get serious benefit from being a Prime member and save, and save a lot of money. Okay, so it, may, it could be location too. Sometimes, sometimes it's location. Sometimes, depending on the geographic location, it may be on deal or not. But that's less common, unless you were in, say, Canada and you're shopping Amazon.com and it says delivered to Canada, then then it wouldn't show you. Yep. All right, so that's the Flyber pull-up bar. So next up, the last two products I don't have in person, they don't have videos of. They were me talking about. So the first one is, and I'll just talk about it real quickly. Uh, I'll cut over to my scene, then we'll we'll do the giveaways. So I'm in the market for a small um, a treadmill. I wound up having to sell or get rid of my, my smart bike and my bikes because I love um, fitness bikes. The problem is I sit 14 hours a day for work. I'm always sitting. So when I work out, me going from a sitting position to another sitting position does not help me because I'm compressing my 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 bum. I'm just sitting too much. I need to move. I need to use workout equipment where I'm not sitting. Um, because I just need to get my legs active. I need to not be in a sitting position. So I am in the market for an elliptical or a smart bike, and I'm, uh, I'm sorry, smart treadmill. And this one caught my interest because it's on deal right now. I like that it's a smart treadmill. It supports uh, the weight, the range they need to support, does all the tracking. And I was a big fan of the Renfo AI smart bike. So I want to showcase that this one's on deal, heavily considering this one, uh, Renfo AI smart bike. It, it meets all the criteria that I'm looking for, so I'm just on the fence on whether I'm going to get this one. The only thing is I'm not sure if I want an elliptical or I want a treadmill. I have advantages of an elliptical. I've used ellipticals at the gym, and I like the motions with the arms. I like the stability that you get because I sometimes have equilibrium issues, and I lately in the past like two months I've been dizzy a lot. Like if I tilt my head, the world spins, stuff like that, and I sometimes can have balance issues like if I'm running or something like that on a treadmill. Whereas I don't get that the regular round. So ellipticals, just with me holding on to the elliptical ham and moving the things, those give me a little bit more stability. But I like running and using a treadmill and working on a treadmill better than the motion of elliptical. So it's a trade-off for me. You get the little bit of arm motions. Because sometimes an elliptical too, if you want, you can use an elliptical to work out your arms. Because then you could use your legs less and do more pulling with your arms on the elliptical and actually give a little bit more workout energy to your arms. Whereas a treadmill, it's legs only. So... There's advantages to both. I'm still on the fence whether I'm going to get um, a treadmill or an elliptical. I do like both. Um, yes, elliptical bikes are good too. But again, even the ones with stand up, I just I don't like that pedaling motion too much for myself. I now I love rowing machines, and I still use the rowing machine for my upper arms. Rowing machines are my overall favorite. 
um, workout equipment. I just want something more specific. So I think I'm going to use the lower rowing machine for my upper body. And I think I'm going to get this treadmill um, for my lower body and just do a combination of the two of them. Rowing machine, treadmill, rowing machine, treadmill as my alternating um, cardio. Because I do need to actually, um, I sit way too much, guys. It's unhealthy the amount of time I sit. Because between my day job that I'm working from 7 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. And then all the influencer stuff and the editing videos, you know, I'm like sitting like 16 hours a day almost. It's ridiculous. I need to not sit so much. I need to get up and be more active. I need to like, I was like David from Utechpia with his workout streams. I'm like, damn, I need to do workout streams so that I can get more fit like David is, man. I just, but my area where I record doesn't leave me enough room to work out in front of my camera like his studio does. But I'm telling you, David on those workout streams, I'm like, I really need to work out more. I need to figure out how to incorporate working out on my streams like David does because it's inspiring how much he works out. It really is inspiring. Yeah, it's inspiring how much he works out, right? And the way he incorporated it into his streams, like, he's the kind of guy like, I can't find time to work out. Well, why don't I work out while I'm streaming? That way I'm working out and streaming and I'm getting, like, exercise and the benefits. It's it's so it's so way a good way to be efficient with your time, right? You're combining two activities, getting your workout in plus doing your live streaming. So it's, it's definitely efficient. Yeah, exactly. Very, very efficient. So then, yeah, exactly. I would literally, the shape that I'm in, I swear to you, if I tried to do that, five minutes, I'd be winded, I'd be huffing and puffing, I'd barely be able to speak out a word of the product. I would just be dying. You'd literally watch me pass out on stream, like fall unconscious in like five minutes. Like like literally be winded, like, hold on guys, I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> like seriously, I would be such an embarrassment. Like, like people don't want me reviewing workout products because I'm not like the target audience that showcases a workout, you know? Um, I'd be like the I'd be a great like before and after results like that person who shows that picture and they're like all unfit out of shape and then like maybe six months later they're like you know noticeably fit trimmer have a lot more stamina but right now I'm not the ideal shape to show um, working out live on a stream because it's it's ter it's terrible I, my stamina has gone out the window over the last couple of years so. The last product I want to talk about is another one that's on my list. Now I'm in the market to review um, a, a zero G massage chair so. The benefits of a zero, zero G massage chair can't be understated because they help you feel weightless. They take the weight off and they use a combination of the vibration, the shiatsu and the air compression to literally massage every part of your body. So if you're somebody who pays for a lot of massages and massages can be expensive, $75 to $120 for an hour massage. So think about it. you do 10 one hour massages at $100. You've already spent $1,000 for 10 massages, right? So start thinking about, okay, well, if I can get a massage from a device like this Massage Max chair, that for the price of maybe 20 personal massages from a trainer, I get about the same benefits and experience. You start thinking, okay, you know what? Maybe I should just buy one of these massive zero G massage chairs instead of spending $2,000 a year in person massages or manual massages, which takes so much more time. You got the drive time to get to and from there. You got to, you know, usually have to do prep time. Then you got, you str and I don't like strangers, right? I don't, I personally hate people touching me. Um, I don't like my back, my legs, my shoulders. I don't like massages from people. I usually use um, massage tools, massage guns, but I don't like, I'm like one of those people that I don't like like strangers touching me. I don't like, yeah. I'm also really ticklish too. So like people would try to massage my legs and my back and I'd just be like giggling like a fool. Cause me and my wife have gotten like couples massages before on like the beaches in like uh, Mexico and stuff like that with our vacations. And I swear to God, I spent half the time just, just like laughing and, and trying to, like they're digging their elbow in my back, like trying to massage my wing bone area and the knots in my back. And I'm just crying from laughter because I, I it's like, Pain for some reason makes me kind of giggle and laugh uncontrollably. So it's like it hurts while they're like like trying to iron out my calf or, or my my thigh. And I swear I'd like barely stop laughing. I'm like an embarrassment. So I don't like getting massages. For me, I'd rather have a device to do it. This is a perfect opportunity to get that. It's on a fantastic deal. I'm in the market for one. And if you're one a person who spends a lot of money on massages, this may be a great option, especially if it was during the COVID time periods where you had to stay home and nobody could really go out and, and get massages. This kind of this is basically equivalent to those mall ones. And at the chiropractor office, you know how they often charge you like twenty dollars or twenty five dollars for five minutes on those massage machines. This is kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? And the cool thing is your whole family could use it too. It's not just one in personal, so everybody could use it. No reason why not to use a massage recliner if you if you have the budget for one. 
You know, you can even just watch TV and get a massage while you're watching a half an hour show on TV. Works perfectly. That's all the products. Now it's time for the final giveaways. Thank you for being patient, everybody. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. We're going to do two gift card winners. And then we're going to do the mystery box winner. And I just posted as anonymous in the chat. Let me refresh because I know you didn't see that link because I'm anonymous. Um, there we go. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. We're going to be drawing the winners of two more gift cards plus the mystery box or mystery product. Yeah, so there are people who work out for hours. So my son who's in the Navy, right? He's somebody who could hit the gym for one to two hours. Like one to two hours. He's fit. The Navy got him fit from boot camp. And he just, he loves being fit. He bought, he got a gym membership and he just, he's one of those people that can work out. My son who's in football in 10th grade, they have him work out for one to two hours between hitting the gym and running laps and running like, you know, 3,000 yards and running up, you know, so, so my kids are both really fit and have really good stamina and they can work out for one to two hours straight. Me, when I was at the gym, I usually did like in recent year, in recent times, half an hour, 45 minutes at my most I was about 45 minutes, but it isn't because I couldn't go longer because I used to be really fit. I'm not really fit anymore, but if you want to see a video from my reviews that I did back in 2012, I was like 50 pounds lighter. I was like super skinny. I could bench 220. I was super fit. I've, re I've really, you know, not had a, a good time taking care of myself physically with fitness between COVID and some stuff that happened, but it's a stark contrast if you see my videos and the way I look now versus the way I looked 10 years ago. And part of that has to do with time management you know, I got a lot busier, got a lot more things to do and fitting it and especially leaving the house where the nearest gym is like 20 minutes drive each way. That's 40 minutes wasted, then another 40 for an hour working out. I just don't have time in the day to fit something like that in. So I do use home equipment when I can, but even then I have a hard time fitting it in my schedule. So, yep, it's time, man. Time is just, I feel like time is just never enough time in the world lately. I need to like, it's it, sometimes you have to take that time to be mindful and actually really just be live in the moment and be present and it's really hard with everybody being so busy schedules, everybody hustling, everybody grinding. It's hard to remember to take time and live in the moment. Be mindful, especially do not take your family for granted. Do not take your kids for granted. Don't take your partner for granted. Make time because time is the best gift you can give somebody. Give them your attention. Give them your time. That is super, super important. Okay, there. That's my, that's my, uh, my last spiel. All right, gift card winners, two of them being given right now. I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, two gift card winners, the last two of the stream. And then I'll post all the other remaining giveaways for those who might be new here. So the first, oh, wow, we have a lot of people. I, mean, I actually closed the giveaway because it ended at 2 o'clock. So if anybody didn't enter, it's too late unless they need me to reopen the gift card. The first gift card winner is, well, I'll, first I'll give it a minute. I realized that my giveaways ended at 2 o'clock because I'm usually done by 1. Did anybody not enter that they want me to reopen it so they can enter real quick? Did anybody not enter that they want to re-enter re real quick? In fact, why don't I just open this up for uh, a couple more seconds here. Give me a second. This Sunday stream does not run this long usually, so I apologize. Let me let me knock this open another... another. Let me open these up for any last-minute people who didn't enter for the past... Um, so the last 19 minutes, nobody would have been able to enter. So let me open these up a little bit. All right. I just opened up the giveaways. So if you did not get entered, now you can enter. I'll keep it open for another two minutes. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. Dragonblogger.com slash gift card. I just reopened the giveaways. So go ahead and get entered. I apologize. It giveaway ended 19 minutes ago. Because um, normally I don't run that long on the stream. So I, uh, I just reopened it. So now you have a chance to enter. So anybody who needs me to check to see if you're entered, let me know. I'll query your name in the system and see if you're entered. So just ask and I'll do a quick query for you and see if, you, and if you're entered. Phyllis, yep. Uh, who needs me to check? Anybody need me to check to see if they're entered? Pretty sure you're entered though. If you entered, you're entered. If, you'll know if you entered or not. You should know. You would have gotten a confirmation message that you entered. Uh, Lisa, okay. I'll double check for you, Lisa. I'm searching right now. Gleam is doing this query. Uh, Lisa C, yes, you are entered. You're valid. You're good. Yeah, if you got the email. Uh, Keith, if 
Checking Keith. Missy Keith. Uh, mm, not seen a Keith entered. Let me see. At least not in the gift card one. Let me check the mystery product one. Nope, not seen a Keith when I search for Keith. Keith, go to dragonblogger.com slash gift card and start entering. <sighs> RD. Let's see. Um, RD. Uh, that's going to be trickier because I'd have to search for what your actual Amazon chat name is. One second. Uh, RD, RD, RD. Uh, What's your first name, RD? That would have been in there. So I could search for a name. The search doesn't let me look at the just the um the Amazon chat name. I gotta actually search by actual first name. What would your first name be in there, RD? Ramona? Okay, let me check. Okay, Ramona. Let me see. Hmm. I might not seen Ramona. Oh, maybe I'm not seeing any action. Any action? Any action? Not seeing it when I search the name, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. It could be something, uh, some other reason. If it shows you, let me check. Uh, I'll just manually where I'll click here. Uh, Angie, Charlie. A lot of people entered. A lot of people are entered. I'm searching, I'm searching. Do oh, you want to be easier if I filter down to one entry and just scan the one entries instead of looking at all the entries that people can enter? Let me just scan the one and then that way it's less pages to look through. And then that'll help me narrow it down in a second here. Do, 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 do. All right. This will be easier because this is just me scanning like 100 entries instead of scanning hundreds. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Are you are you sure entered the gift card and not the enter live? Because it's the gift card one, not the enter live. Make sure you enter the right giveaway. Let me check. I see some people entered the enter live, which is the James and Nate giveaway. That is not the one for today. It is the slash gift card, not the enter live. Because I see people. Oh, okay. Only three people entered the um, the wrong one. So. Just uh, be aware of that. If you got the email, you're in there. But for some reason, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a Ramona yet. I'm scrolling through the list and I don't see a specific Ramona. I don't see a Ramona entered. Yeah, I don't see, uh, for some reason I don't see a Ramona entered. I don't know why. Well, you could enter at the start of the show. You could, oh, oh yeah. So yeah, some people enter, enter live isn't used on Sunday. That's the only day that enter live isn't used. Enter live is used every other day of the week except except me and Mr. Dragonmogger's. Sunday show. That's the dragonbarger.com stuff gift card. So I don't know why I don't see Ramona, but I don't see Ramona entered in there. Um, You have to have a valid email. If you do not have a valid email, you can't be a winner. I have to be able to contact you via email. It's required because I get too many bot spams and I get too many um, people who attempt to hijack the giveaways and win. So if you're not putting a valid email in Gleam, um, in the widget, you can't win. You have to have an email. I have to be able to send you an email and you receive it to confirm validation. I, I've had people in Amazon chat claim to be other people and steal their prizes before. So I can't trust just telling you to email me or trust the Amazon username. I have to, your email in that Gleam widget is how I validate you are who you are in the chat. I just get too many, too many spammers, too many people trying to, trying to steal the claims. Melissa, you're in there. Yeah, you're you're you found right away, Melissa. You're in there. Fine. All right, I'm gonna draw the winner now. Yeah, but that's when I collect. Can't do PO boxes. UPS charges sixty dollars extra to ship to a PO box over shipping to a residential address, so I can't do PO boxes. 
for some reason, when you ship to a PO box, they charge you uh, sixty dollars just to go to a PO box, and that's not including the normal shipping costs. It's, it's ridiculous. I can't I can't figure out why. Yeah, if you can't re-enter, you're already in. All right, I'm gonna have to draw the gift card winners now. We're running way too long. So, first winner is Daisy L. Is Daisy L in chat? Daisy L is the first of the two gift card winners for the last gift cards. Daisy. Daisy L. Daisy, waiting for Daisy. Did anybody see a Daisy in chat? Not seeing Daisy claim. I'm not seeing a Daisy claim. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. See, some people might have entered when I did the email newsletter this morning, and so they didn't stay for stream. And this was a long stream, so maybe we couldn't people hang out. Five, four. Three, two, one. F and chat for Daisy, redraw. David S. David S., you are the alternate winner. Hold on one second. Uh, one second, sorry about that. All right, David S, did he claim? David S, David S, David S here. All right, uh, it is David S. It's actually the person who says David S in chat. Their Amazon chat says David S. So David S. David Sepulveda is the name. I'm David S. I don't see two David S's. It's David Sepulveda. So I see you, David. All right. Congratulations. First gift card winner. Put that in my chat. Um, of the two here, David S. All right. Next one. Reagan L, lightning strikes twice. I know you won the Lammy Cole tablets then, but you also win a gift card. Reagan L, are you here in chat? Because you get to claim a gift card too if you're still here. I know, if Reagan L's here, Reagan L gets a gift card plus the uh, backpack. Yep, congratulations, Reagan. All right, now for the mystery product. It's rare. The odds were so low, but... Sometimes the winner can win twice. It happens. Um, mystery product winner is Phyllis S. Phyllis S here in chat. Phyllis S is the mystery product winner this week. Phyllis Spell. Is Phyllis Spell here? And I don't believe Phyllis has won a mystery product from us before. So this will be Phyllis's first time. Congratulations, Phyllis. You won the mystery box this week. So the mystery box is a random product or products that we have packaged up, gently used, reviewed, unboxed, tested, and we just package up some of the extra stuff that we have lying around that we don't need. So we package it up and give it away as part of the mystery box prize. Congratulations, Phyllis. I will contact you and collect your information and then ship you your prize later this week or next week. 
mystery box. Fill this. All right. Thank you, everybody, for staying with me a little bit longer today. This stream was sponsored by Anchor Soundcore. Thank you so much for Anchor Soundcore for sponsoring the stream, sending us products to be able to review and showcase. We really love the Soundcore line of speakers, the boom boxes, and just how awesome they sound. Plus, thank you for sponsoring the Soundcore 2 speaker giveaway. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We have the normal streams coming up during the week. Nate will be live tomorrow morning. And Nate will be giving away the 3D printed Darth Vader during his stream. That's dragonblogger.com slash winvader if you want a chance to win the 3D printed Darth Vader that Nate's doing. He's going to assemble it on stream tomorrow and then draw the winner who wins the 3D printed Darth Vader. He will ship it out to you. It looks amazing, incredible. It has the cape. It has the red lightsaber. It's an amazing 3D printed Darth Vader. It spent a whole week and a half 3D printing all the parts to it to assemble it live on stream tomorrow and ship it out to somebody. We also have the website giveaways, which I'll post one more time. This is the last week to enter the gaming laptop giveaway. It ends next Saturday. That's the Gigabyte GDG5 gaming laptop or $800 that ends next Saturday. That's dragonblogger.com slash laptop. And then we also have the Nintendo Switch Lite with Pokemon Legends Arceus. That is dragonblogger.com slash winswitchlite. Thank you, everybody. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and I will talk to you in a week. You can come talk to us on Discord, too. Dragonblogger.com Discord will answer any questions. You could talk to myself, James, Nikita, Astroidia. We're all available on our Discord. You can ask us about anything, and we're like open books. Have a great Sunday, everyone. Thank you. Show it up.